We are good. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the official episode three of Polish Rob's Cards and Zards. See a few people in here already. I appreciate you guys coming out and hanging out with us. Today, we bring out a very special guest. He's known for opening a ton of Korean Pokemon cards. He has earned himself the nickname, at least to me, as the Korean Master. He is currently 807 subscribers, 220 videos on his YouTube channel. Guys, put your hands together for the one and only Zenchurion XYZ. What is up, dude? How are you doing today? Hey, what's, hey going what's going on, Rob? Rob? Thanks for having me. I appreciate it, man. And thank you, everybody who's uh, who's watching. Much no problem, much appreciated. Dude. I'm uh, I'm glad to have you out here. It's been uh, it's been a few weeks since we decided that we were going to have you on, but we finally came to this date, so it's pretty exciting stuff. And we got uh, we're going to put on a show for these people today, so it should be pretty pretty amazing. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. So, I also want to give a shout out, uh, I don't know if he's in here right now or not, I haven't seen it in the chat, but to uh, Hi187, uh, I believe that was the, the correct name that you gave me, Yeah. when we talked yeah. about it. Hi187. Yep. 187, yep. Uh, he hooked us up, he hooked us up with, uh, with some product today, which we are very thankful to open. Um, so he's pretty much uh, sponsoring this Pokecast, which is sweet. So want to give a big shout out, a big thank you for hooking us up. We both got uh, Elite Trainer boxes from Rebel Clash that we're going to open and share with the Rob Mop today and hopefully get some amazing pulls, maybe some gold. Uh, Rebel Clash has been known and called with a new nickname, Rebel Trash, uh, because <laughs> the pulls have been terrible in this set, according to most people. Yeah. So. Uh, We'll see. We'll see how we uh, fare out. Hopefully, uh, we both got some good boxes there. I kind of picked it randomly when I went to Target. It's pretty. Interesting. It's pretty like, interesting. I've like actually, I've actually, um, um, I haven't opened that much Rebel Clash. Um, I've gotten, um, I've gotten okay, pulls, okay pulls, uh, but definitely, uh, but definitely Sword, Sword and Shield like seemed like it was had it had better ratios. So, I agree. So I'm not yeah. sure. Yeah. For sure, I've opened a, a few booster boxes myself, and I think between me and Chelsea opening some off camera, we've gotten one gold card in total, and. I think out of six booster boxes, I have one left, uh, and that's one gold out of four booster boxes. Uh, we've got some pretty cool full arts and stuff off of it, but like, I think you're right. With the Sword and Shield base, the pull rate seemed to be a lot better, and Rebel Clash has literally been pretty much Rebel trash. Good to see you hanging out. You, uh, We just gave you a shout out earlier for helping us out and sponsoring uh, this video with two Elite Trainer boxes, so we really, really appreciate that. Uh, uh, thoughtful gesture. Some Rebel Clash that we're going to open up. Uh, thanks to High187. He hooked this one up. So we're definitely going to open up some Rebel Clash. And I would you like to give the guest the honors of starting. So, dude, definitely get after it. Uh, I'll start opening mine as well. And uh, we'll see if we can get some awesome, awesome pulls from here. So we got a Sounds Good, Go Back One Step. What Epic said, Go Back One Step. Go back one step. I don't know what that means. Go back one step. Yeah, I, I don't either. I have no idea what they're talking about. Um, I'm sitting. I, I'm sitting down, so I can't take a step back. <laughs> but yeah, so we got these elite trainer boxes. It's fine now. I'm looking for Zen sounds louder. Sounds fine though. So I sound louder, uh, but I sound. It's gone fine. now. Now Zen sounds louder. Sounds fine though. Let's get yeah. the yeah. D maxes. I'm hoping so, Chase. I'm hoping that we can uh, definitely, definitely get some VMAXs here. So, All right. So, so there's a bunch so of So anyways, good, while we're opening up these here. Elite Trainer boxes, do you want to, because I've don't, i never asked you this before, um, I don't think, on like a personal level. I think it might have been mentioned in uh, a chat briefly way back when. But what basically got you into, uh, not necessarily Pokemon, because um, I know you mentioned that you were a, a fan for quite some time, but what got you into making actual Pokemon videos? Um, so, I actually uh, started watching uh, Leonhart, Super Duper Danny, Break, Real Breaking Nate. Uh, okay. I had gotten into Pokemon cards, uh, well, got back into Pokemon cards um, about a couple months before I started doing YouTube. And uh, and I just I started watching the videos and really enjoyed it. I thought, you know what, this would be pretty cool to do. Uh, I'm just going to give it a try. 
Um, I wanted to learn how to edit video. I wanted to learn how to record and learn, you know, video and, you know, do some different things. So, uh, so that was just, it made sense. And uh, they really got me into it, uh, watching them open up all the stuff and making the videos and stuff like that. So, I, you know, really, um, it was them that got me into the poke tubing uh, stuff. So. Nice. Yeah. I think uh, that's where a lot of people uh, start themselves to is they end up getting into Pokemon as far as like watching YouTube videos and those are like some of the front faces that everyone sees is you know is Leon Hart is um, uh, Super Duper Danny is Real Breaking Nate all those kind of guys they they basically see from the beginning and uh, inspires them to start opening Pokemon cards on video as well. Um, Kind of same situation for me. I did see them first and was like, oh man, I'd love to do this stuff as well and share with everybody. So kind of brought me into the same realm and place to uh, start doing YouTube videos as well. But in the meantime, while you get that figured out, I'm going to crack into some of these booster packs, if anything, and buy some time. <laughs> as we get All right. Can you, can you hear uh, Echo now at this point? point? No, but you still have the same audio right before uh, you had cracked into that um, mm. that Yeti without using the Yeti mic. You're still well. I'm not using the Yeti, Yeti at the moment, so, so yeah, yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Try to go back to that setting that you had when you had the um, the Yeti mic working, because it seemed like everybody was happy with that sound as soon as. But then you clicked off to what you are at now. And then everybody okay. said that uh, it wasn't. Hey, Stone Junior Holographic, nice. So we got something out of uh, a Elite Trainer box, although it's a hollow. All, All right. So, so uh, I don't know if you guys, guys still hear an echo. echo. Let me know. Uh, uh, I, just I just changed, changed it again. again. I, don't I don't know what to do. do. But, but uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Let us know, guys, in the chat. Definitely helps it a lot. Um, it's you know when starting the when starting the actual Pokecast, I knew that eventually. Things like this would happen. We'd run into a little bit of trouble. Uh, everything's not foolproof or you know soundproof. So we make it work as we go. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. So so, uh, so, yeah, so yeah, let, let us, us know in the uh, comments what's going on in the chat. chat. And, and uh, uh, Robert, Robert, what are we doing here? Am I opening a pack or? Yeah, we can go back and forth on the Elite Trader boxes okay. and see uh, what each of them pull up. Sure By the way, guys, if you just joined the chat, make sure you uh, smash that like button. Definitely helps out the stream a lot. Um, and yeah, pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> just smash that like button definitely helps out a lot uh if you want to if you're new to the channel welcome uh hanging out with zen today doing a pokecast and definitely consider subscribing to the channel and his as well definitely definitely helps out a lot uh it's still there i think he is picking it up on his own audio from rob somehow hmm, hmm. interesting it i wonder if it's the speakers behind you rob because uh look, look at that i got a pull I'm not nice. even paying Thank attention <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so it, it looks, looks it, it, it might, might be, be your speakers, speakers I'm, I'm not sure. sure. Yeah, um, I, I did that. It's pretty much to where I can barely hear it uh, at this point. <laughs> okay. okay. I can barely hear you. So I don't think the mic would be picking it up right now. Gotcha. gotcha. Uh, it's pretty darn low. So nice, Pinkerton. Yeah. yeah. Have you already uh, pulled that card? I haven't. I haven't. So, so that's, that's, uh, that's a new, new one for me. me. Good, nice. good stuff. Not to add to this, but I feel like Zen was just at the Willy Wonka factory and ate a blueberry gum when he was supposed to was not to. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. know uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, know what happened there with the with the, uh, with with the lighting. The lighting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why it's uh, actually. Hey, there it is, Elder Gross V. So this is my this is my actually my third one, but according to TCG, if anybody plays out there, this is supposed to be a pretty playable card, especially with Boss's order. So not a bad card to pull out of there. At all. Nice. Let me see if I can. Yeah, guys, definitely let us know about the Echo, if there's still one there or not. But, uh, yeah, that's that's unfortunate that it happened. But, you know, it is what it is. Stuff happens. Right. right. Yeah. Technology's, Technology's fun, fun sometimes. sometimes. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is definitely, definitely uh, a blast. So, like, as far as your Pokemon collection goes, what is your uh, favorite piece of your collection that's not necessarily, like, uh, card-related? Do you have anything that's kind of, like, you know, symbolizes uh, Pokemon for you that's not an actual card, per se? Yeah, yeah I'm actually, um, from, from my collection, collection back here, here 
I'll be honest with you, that big Blastoise I have back there uh, is pretty sweet, that plushie. Um, that's actually uh, was sent to me by High187, so I, you know, I... I kind of treasure that. Uh, it was the one of the first things that anybody ever sent me, you know, when I started doing Poketubing. So it's pretty cool. Um, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's definitely uh, something there. And I also have some uh, some new stuff that I bought, and I showed it to you last night, but I'm not ready to reveal it to everybody. So, uh, yeah, I showed it to you on Skype yesterday. I'm, I'm going to have to hold off on that because I'm going to be making a video on that. So that should be uh, pretty cool. For darn sure. Yeah, those are some... Uh, some pretty spicy things you definitely showed me uh, yeah. Yeah. when you were trying to set all this up. Definitely some uh, crazy things you got in your collection, that is for right. sure. Uh, I feel like the V cards are gloss glaze when Rob shined the Elder Gross. Uh, yeah, I mean, they got definitely got a glossy kind of kind of tone to them. Uh, at they least definitely the v cards do. do, for sure. Like a real, real significant gloss. Especially, you can see, like, I have a card cam, uh, and it kind of really reflects off the v cards yeah, yeah. um i, I noticed, noticed that, that with the um with, with the, the new v cards they like, like for example sometimes, sometimes they have uh let me see if i can show it here, it here. I, don't I don't know if this one, one actually, actually has any but like, but like for example when you've got like a pokemon that's doing like a swiping thing and kind of slashing at you know the uh at you or whatever there's like lines on it and then that part that slash the scratch is not uh, uh, glossy like, like the rest of the card, mm. which is pretty cool. I mean, I think it looks awesome Yeah, no doubt for sure. I mean I like it in general. Uh, I think I mentioned this in my last pokecast But was no it was actually a live stream that I did with Chelsea. I mentioned how I just love all the uh, Dang another holographic nice. I love all the uh, the artworks and and the way they did the cards especially the full arts in, in Sword and Shield in general, I think is just freaking awesome. I think it looks oh, really definitely. really good it uh, does they did a great job with the set in general. Yeah. So, yeah. since you're uh, the the Korean master, uh, you open more <laughs> Korean stuff than I've ever seen uh, on a YouTube channel before. You're definitely the king of it. Uh, and Epic gave you that great, great name. I saw it in a comment, and I definitely ran with it because I thought it was hilarious and, and very well suited. Um, but what got you... Like Korean, or like what got you into collecting Korean Pokemon cards? Like what got um, you like in that mindset? What made you reach out and get some stuff that you can open on your channel? Because it's definitely right. a very uh, niche thing, to kind of get like you know that a lot of people that collect Pokemon, it's either it's either English or it's going to be Japanese. But you have Chinese, you got Korean, you got French, you got German, you got all these different languages. So what made you choose Korean? Yeah, yeah, so, so um, I, started I started with Korean just because, because it's super cheap. cheap. So, so, like, I have a couple boxes here, I'll, you know, show, show you guys. guys. But, but, like, these are the, the um, you know, the uh, Sword and Shield boxes, boxes right here. Okay. And, and you, know, you know, they're 25, 20 to 25 dollars a box. Um, so, um, so they're, they're super cheap. cheap. And, and I was just like, like why not give those a shot and see what, you know, what's in them? So I bought a few boxes. I was, I was impressed. I was like, like all right, well, I'll keep, keep doing that. that. And, and it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's cheap, cheap to open, open on the channel, channel which is nice, you know, yeah. and, and, uh, and on top of that, they look good. Um, so, so I decided, decided to start collecting them and really just, uh, you know, put them in binders and, uh, and, you know, so I just started doing that. Um, now I've got so many boxes. I don't know what to do with them. Uh, just cause they're so cheap. I buy like four or five. And, uh, it, it adds up, up to like one English, English booster box, you know? So, so uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much why I started doing that. that. But, uh, I do open up a lot of the Japanese stuff as well. Um, I do have some Chinese, um, and Spanish as well, which I've opened on the channel. So I do kind of, you know, collect all the different languages, uh, which is pretty cool. I just find it interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, that's for a cool sure. Arcanine. Arcanine. Uh, I like especially that with like the Japanese cards as well. Even even the Korean cards, it's just a different uh, different style they use. Also, it's not generally what we see. Uh, definitely, some of the cards have a complete different style than what we're accustomed to as far as the English cards. But uh, right, right. you mentioned the price point being cheaper in Korean than than in English. How significantly cheaper is it? Like, if I were to get a booster box of Korean, let's say Sword and Shield base, or a booster, you know compared to a booster box of uh, Sword and Shield based in English, which I think retails right now for, let's say, like $95 uh, if you were to right. get retail. How much cheaper is a Korean box? 
Yeah, yeah so, so um, like, like this, this box, box right, right here, here, if I can get it in the picture, picture this box is about $25. Wow. Um, it, it comes with 30 packs, and each pack comes with five cards. cards. So, so, I mean, you, you could buy two or three of them for the price of an English box. box. Now, now, there, there, are, there are, are some downsides to it. You've got the pull rates aren't quite as good. good. Usually you get like three or four hits out of a box. Um, those, those aren't counting hollows. Just, just I'm talking, talking about like, you know, ultra rare or better. Or better. Um, usually, usually you'll get like one secret rare, rare in there or one um, uh, trainer. Uh, and so, so the hits aren't quite as good, but if you if you buy three boxes, you're pretty much getting the same amount of hits as you would an English box, right? Okay. Um, and then the ones I have back here, these are Japanese. And these are also cheaper than... Um, than, um, than the, the English, English boxes, boxes. But, you but you can get, get a Japanese, Japanese box for about fifty dollars. Wow, uh, that's not bad at all. And it comes with the same amount of packs. Uh, uh, the, the Japanese, Japanese ones come. It depends on the set, but these are actually thirty packs. packs. So, so these, these boxes, boxes are thirty packs. packs. Um, there's, there's some sets that are like less, but uh, for, for the most part, part yeah, that's that's the the number of packs that come in them. Nice, nice. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely cheaper, especially if you're a PokeTuber out there, like, and you want to go a different, cheaper route, uh, I would definitely say Korean and Japanese. I mean, not just, like, by me saying, by me, but by Zen's recommendation, like, for sure, it's definitely a cheaper route. You can definitely get more stuff and more content out of it. But you're definitely yeah. never going to beat him in the Korean game. He uh, he has that pretty much unlocked. Although I saw Golden War Turtle said that Leonhard is the king of Korean, but... I don't think yeah, so. I don't think I've ever seen him open anything Korean. <laughs> he's just he's, he's just yanking, yanking my chain. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's all right though. But, uh, but uh, Justin Justin, Justin uh, asked where uh, do I have a website that I use to buy them? them. Oh, oh, there's a boss's oh, order. Sweet, nice, 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 nice one right there. there. Um, I, actually I actually buy my Korean, Korean boxes off of eBay. I have a few sellers on there that I usually buy from. So, so far, I, I think I've bought from like four or five different sellers, sellers and I've, I've never had an issue with being scammed or anything like that. that. Um, it's one, one of the things that, that um, I'm, you know, know, I was scared of with the Korean boxes because, yeah, and I'll show you guys real quick, quick. these boxes, like, like the older ones, ones don't, don't come with a wrapping. wrapping. So, so as you can see here, these are open. The bottoms are the bottoms are open. I mean, you can literally pull this open. And the only thing that's holding this thing together is packing tape. And, and that's, that's just, just how, how they come, come which, which is crazy uh, to, to think, think that, that like something professional, professional you know, you like Pokemon, Pokemon comes, comes that way. Yeah. Um, um, but they're, they're just made in different factories, and that's just how they are. are. So, so the first time I bought them, I was like, like what, what in the world? world? Uh, I'm like, did, did I just, just get scammed? scammed? I mean, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, packing tape, really? Um, and that's just the way they come. So I bought another box from a different vendor, came the same way. I did some research online. They all came the same way. All right, cool. Cool, cool. cool. So, so I didn't, I didn't get scammed. scammed. That's just how it is. But the new ones, the new ones, the um, sword, sword and shield stuff, they, they do come wrapped, wrapped just like your uh, English and your, you know, Japanese, Japanese in, stuff. So in Japanese only or Korean as well? Does it come wrapped? Yeah, yeah in, in Korean, Korean too. too. So, so the new ones are coming uh, wrapped in, in Korean. Korean. So, so um, that's, that's actually pretty cool because, because like I don't know, I just feel like it's safer. It's not, not just, just packing tape, tape yeah. holding it together, <laughs> together, you know. So, so uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Let me nice. take a look real quick, quick at the chat. chat. Um, well, you pulled the boss's order. Uh, some people were asking what your reaction was. <laughs> um, <laughs> actually, I'm happy about the boss's order. I, I was actually looking to get that card. I didn't have it, so. Yeah, it's definitely a good pull. It's definitely one of the more expensive ones. I think it's just right below the uh, Rainbow Rare. Uh, bosses orders, which is just slightly more expensive. Right. Uh, Chase said that he's gonna he's about to jump on the Korean bandwagon. Uh, <laughs> I don't blame him. Uh, with the with how expensive Pokemon is getting right now, I definitely don't blame you on that one. Uh, my wife just told me I can only buy cards in languages of countries I've been to, so English and Japanese. Oh, there, there we go. go. Yeah, Let's we go. Gold. Nice. We Somebody got to put that one on the uh, on the main cam there, dude. Very that nice. is nice. You picked the right. ETB from Rebel Clash. Sweet. Nice. So there you go. That's that's, that's my reaction. reaction. That's, that's my, my big reaction. reaction. Uh, <laughs> anybody who watches my channel knows that I don't, you know, go crazy with my reactions. Um, <laughs> but uh, 
you know, you know it's, it's, it's it, I'm, I'm Zen. Zen. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess it works out, you know, that's, that's just, I'm not, sure. you know, I'm not about going crazy screaming and running off camera and throwing things. And it's just, uh, I'm not about that. So uh, if I ever pull the shiny Zard, I might get up and start throwing stuff to be honest with you. <laughs> I think the, the one card I think that I had the biggest reaction to when I first started um, doing YouTube was the Reshazard. And uh, uh -huh. because I had opened up, I think six booster boxes and I finally pulled that rainbow rare Reshazard. And I, and I think, think that, that was the biggest reaction I had uh, out, of, out of all the well, cards that I pulled. That's definitely a sweet card to get from uh, to get in general, just because Unbroken Bonds is such a tough set to pull really anything from. Uh, it's up yeah. there with I think Burning Shadow is probably one of the toughest, uh, but Unbroken Bonds is definitely has a pretty pretty tough pull rate. Yeah, yeah, uh, my absolutely, opinion. for sure. Well, I got a regular boss's orders. Uh, I didn't match your full art. So the best one I pretty much got out of my box was Eldegoss V. You had a heck of a box there, sir, with a full well, art I've boss's got order more. and some gold. Got one, got one more pack, pack so, so let's see if we, we can get some last pack magic out of this uh, uh, Rubble, Rubble Clash. clash. There it but is. it's not really, it's not really last, last pack magic because we still, still have more stuff to open, right? So, oh, yeah. We got we got uh, a ton of stuff to open. I got right yeah. to Pokegamer saying, hey, Polish Raw, hope you're doing well today. We are doing great. It's always a great day when you're opening up some Pokemon cards. And trying to get the best of the best out of a set. So uh, I appreciate you hanging out for us with us and uh, the kind words there, sir. Yep, yep, uh, absolutely. Oh, my friend, good luck today from Colecesta or Collectionesta MX342. Nice. Nice. So nothing out of that one, huh? Polish Rob yeah, playing yeah, co-host again. <laughs> God, Golden <laughs> Warner was just in here uh, just trolling. You know... It's okay. Like, if I don't get any great pulls, it's fine. I'm still hanging out. I still feel like I got the pulls as well. <laughs> Although they're not my own personal cards. But, you know, it is what it is. We're hanging out. We're having a good time. And, you know, either way, open up Pokemon cards is is a fun, fun, fun time. So Let me, let me, let me tell you, uh, Rob, uh, Rob, I don't, I don't think, think I've opened, opened up an Elite Trainer, trainer box this, this good, good in a while. Uh, this, um, this has been, been a pretty good box. box. Uh, I would say so, yeah. That's a freaking amazing box, dude. Yeah. yeah. That, that is one good box that you got there uh, i think the last good box i had like that was uh chelsea had opened it off camera and we got a quick ball gold and a um zamazenta gold right right nice, nice. so that was Those a sweet ones. box but of course off camera so no one's gonna believe it but you know <laughs> uh, chelsea <laughs> doesn't like to open uh stuff on uh camera all the time so uh, chris, chris larson, larson says, says rob, rob mob there it is. Uh, who said that? I missed it. Uh, Chris, Chris, Chris Larson. Larson. Oh, there he is. Chris Larson. What is going on, dude? Glad to see you hanging out with us. We, uh, well, actually, I'm not putting on a show, really. Zen is putting on a show uh, <laughs> right now with uh, Elite Trainer Boxy open. <laughs> so, uh, I've actually stayed away from ETBs because I've never seen anything good pull from them until now. Chase, I don't blame you. ETBs are super tough pulls. Uh, I open it typically if I want to do a video of it, but I don't always open it in general. Sword and Shield actually hasn't been that bad to me. And she's oh, just so, yeah, blame it on me. Uh, the one of the worst ones that me and Zen actually ended up getting to open with you guys, because we're going to try to get the Hyper Azard, uh, we ended up getting some Burning Shadows booster boxes. So these should be very interesting. But every time I've opened one, all I've seen come out of them is ho -Os. That's it. So... The only thing that really has convinced me to buy a Burning Shadows booster box is watching NC Packbusters video and Allison pulling the Hyper Rares art out of it. And I was like, yeah. you know what? I think I got to try it. I think I got to do it. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. me and you spoke about doing it. I said if you find one at Target and if you want to buy one, I'll buy one with you and we'll see if we can uh, make some magic happen over here. Man, man, they used to put a lot of cardboard in here, huh? Jeez. Jeez. Uh, I think yeah, I yeah I, they, uh, they uh, pack it pretty darn good. Uh, you know, you know I, went I went to that, to that one, one target, target and, and uh, uh, they just they didn't have the um, they didn't have the ETBs for Burning, Burning Shadows. Shadows. So, so I was like, like eh, I guess let's just do the Rebel, Rebel Flash. But uh, then, then I went to another Target and they had two of them. So I did grab one for uh, for my sealed collection. 
Yeah. And I've got this one, this one here for for, uh, for this opening. So, so pretty, pretty excited well, about that. Pick the right one for this opening. Uh, that pulls some yeah. um, well, well, potential. Let's, let's see. You, you, you might uh, fire sauce. You might, you might, might catch up to me. Who knows? Who knows? So, so, but yeah, but yeah we, we uh, we're gonna, we're gonna be, be doing some of that rebel clash. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, not rebel clash. Uh, burning, burning shadows. And um, I don't know. I don't know if do we have anything else in store for everyone? Um. I think we do, but I think we're going to hold off on that one. I think we're not going to yeah, announce yeah, it. Yet. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. yeah. Right. Yeah. I think everybody will like this one too. So, y'all definitely stick around. There's going to be a, a pretty interesting opening as well. Uh, Polish Rob, live, not putting on a show, but his guest is, think I've seen this one before. <laughs> oh, read, man, uh, it happens. Says, it is uh, what it is. Read but, Juke says you should uh, keep the ETB Burning, Burning Shadows. Shadows. It's a real popular set. set. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is popular, and it's um, it's, it's one that I think is going to go up in value uh, more just because, just because it's got that Charizard. Charizard. So, that's so that's definitely why I'm keeping one, one of them sealed for sure. sure. Um, I, do I do have a couple of other ones, and I do have some booster boxes as well in my sealed collection. So the booster boxes, I think, are really the ones that are going up in the value the most. Because I think, I mean, you can still get Burning Shadow ETBs. Relatively, relatively cheap, cheap if you go uh, to I believe you know target like 34 dollars at target yeah yeah exactly has <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> had his fire all right, all right thank, thank you thank you uh, it's, uh, it's a, a new hat, hat. i actually uh, i got this one at best buy, best buy. um online, online. I, 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 I didn't even know that they had i didn't know they had hats i went on there i was doing my my usual best buy spending spree when they have a sale going on and they, they happened happen to have a hat. hat. You know, it was on sale, sale too. So I was like, all right, right cool. cool. So I bought so this one. I got a Pikachu, Pikachu hat. And I think I have a, what was it? I got a Zelda hat also. Mm. Yeah. So That's pretty nice. I think it's uh, it's about time I get a new hat as well. I'm already sweating this one out as it is. I feel like it's 80 million degrees in my house. So don't mind me. Well, uh, I definitely NC Pack was have just to joined saying people. pull all the rainbow zards. So we'll see. If we can both pull one, that'd be uh, that'd be some intense stuff here for this opening for sure. That would that would be that would be pretty, that would be pretty awesome. awesome. <laughs> so so uh, do you want to kick things off there? Yeah, or, sure. Or I'll go ahead go? And definitely crack into cool. a pack. Uh, last time I opened Burning Shadows, it was for live. Uh, it was uh, me and Izzy for the other Pokecast, and I ended up getting a pretty good card. I got a Necrozoma. Uh, Hyper. Okay. I thought it was the actual Charizard because their legs kind of both hang out in the bottom of the card. Uh, although the Charizard is more off to the right where Necrozoma is in the middle. So it really threw me for a loop there, but uh, it was Necrozoma, not the almighty Charizard. Mm. But nothing out of Burning Shadows as expected for me. <laughs> <laughs> Pokemon I'll, I'll said, why don't you guys pull both the Hyper Rare Charizard? I hope so. That'd be some amazing, amazing stuff. That would, that would be amazing. Be amazing. I, would, I, would, uh, I would, I would absolutely, absolutely love that. Because I, I don't have the, the um, I don't, I don't have either one of them. So, so really, that would be that would be, that would that would be awesome. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I've opened, I've opened up, up quite a bit of Burning, Burning Shadows, Shadows, and I just haven't, haven't gotten, gotten it. I've got, I've got a bunch of these stuff. though. Like and rock. Yeah, same. Oh, I got a bunch of bulk uh, myself too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Gold Warner said, Hydro Pump set the market last week on Burning Shadows booster boxes. I can imagine what uh, the market is right now on Burning Shadows booster bo boxes. What are they, what are they, uh, what are they going now? for now? I don't know. I guess they could put it in the chat what they uh, what they set the market at. But I'm assuming it's a uh, pretty pretty hefty price if they uh, if they set it for sure. <laughs> look, look, I got, I got something else that's blue. blue. You, guys you guys think, think I, like I like blue, blue or, or what? <laughs> yeah, just blue all over the place. So do you have any uh, big, I guess you could say, Pokemon investments that you plan on doing here uh, in the Oof. future, maybe? That's, That's tough. tough. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm always doing, doing some Pokemon, Pokemon investments, investments. Um, whether, whether they're, they're big or small. small. I mean, I started, I started off with the biggest, with the biggest one, one, which was my jungle, jungle uh, unlimited, unlimited box, box. And that's sitting, sitting behind me. me. Uh, um, yeah. But... but uh, Everything, everything else, else that I do, I do like anytime, anytime I buy a box, a booster box, box, I buy two. I buy, I buy one, one for the channel, channel to open, I buy one, and I keep it sealed. sealed. Um, a, lot a lot of the times with the Japanese, Japanese stuff, because they're a little bit cheaper, cheaper uh, I buy four boxes or three boxes, boxes and I'll open one on the channel, channel, and then I'll keep two. Um, with, um, with the Korean, Korean stuff, stuff, I do the same thing. thing. I buy, I buy you, know, you know, from, from each set, multiple, multiple boxes, and I put them in, a, you know, in storage. So yeah. um, everything I do, I usually do it in doubles just so I can keep one set sealed. 
Uh, the last thing I bought was the trainer kits, the elite, the what the new trainer kits that came out. Yeah. Um, and I bought three of those. So I'm going to be opening one up. I'm going to be putting two away in storage. I don't know that those are going to go up in value at any point, but I don't know, whatever. They've got that NAGX in them so and yeah. a bunch of trainers. So that's why true. not? Give that's, it a shot. That's very, know? very true. Yeah. Uh, Golden yeah. just put in chat that they set the market $190 for a booster box. Oof. That's Dang. pretty freaking bananas. By the that way, is. guys, let me know if the echo is gone. I think I fixed it. <laughs> I think it was my fault the whole time. Let me know no if way, the echo really? is gone, but I think I fixed it. I don't oh, know if the echo was still there. It might have just disappeared on its own. But Yeah, well, I, nobody's nobody's complained about it for a while, so I'm guessing it's gone. But uh, I haven't done anything else, so it must have been you if it's gone. Yeah, either either they were really nice and just uh, we're like, well, we're still going to hang out for the show. We're just going <laughs> to mute you guys. No echo. No echo. Yeah, no so echo. Uh, that's my fault, guys. If it just disappeared, then it's definitely my fault. Yeah, good job. Good job, Rob. <laughs> you know, I was looking at my OBS. I noticed I had desktop audio on as well as Skype audio, and I think those two were conflicting each other. Oh, yeah, that's probably what it was. Um, it may have been a combination because I had that as well. I had my OBS on as well, and but I took that off a long time ago. But it might have been yours too, yeah. Yeah, So I think but, uh, uh, it just went away. Yeah, hey, sorry guys, it's it definitely my fault. Uh, when we were doing, when we were setting up stuff yesterday, uh, I remember I made some adjustments to figure out some stuff to uh, help us ensure next when I see with some of his stuff, and I think I forgot to put some stuff of the, off it back. <laughs> you know, so. it's it's cool. It happens, man. But uh, it's fine. I'm just glad it wasn't me because <laughs> you don't want to be the guest on a uh, you know on a podcast. <laughs> And be the reason there's technological problems, you know? Well, so. if I wasn't sweating before, I'm definitely sweating now. Y'all can tell by my hat. It's pretty freaking rough right now. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat, and I've got my AC at 70, and uh, <laughs> it has not stopped. So if you guys do hear a low hum on uh, on my microphone that's my AC running, it's literally on the other side of this wall. So there's nothing I could do about that. Usually with my video, um, I, I put it through Audacity. And uh, and I take out the you know I do noise reduction on that, mm -hmm. so you guys probably don't hear that through uh, because of the noise reduction and because I usually have like soft music playing in the back, so it helps my videos. But on live streams, it's hard to get rid of it, you know. Yeah. So yeah, it is what it is. I can't win them all, that is for sure. By the way, uh, we haven't pulled anything from this Burning Shadows booster box. Uh, we're four packs. At least I'm. That was my fourth pack in, and uh, a yeah. bunch of duds. Uh, I guess you've been opening more than I have, but, uh, yeah, I've, I've got nothing yet. Um, War Turtle says, you want me to bring you another hour. cat or towel? <laughs> oh my God. Still nothing. Yeah. It's, it's so pretty, it's terrible. pretty rough right now, but I got a so, Guzma. So there it is. So yeah, guys, definitely my fault. Uh, I happened to find out on a whim when I checked, so it happens. It is what it is. I'm a big dummy. Welcome to the Rob Mob. <laughs> At least we, you know, haven't been 40 minutes into a live stream with an echo due to my uh, incompetence. So I'll be sure to have that never happen again. <laughs> you learn. You live and you learn. Yeah. And still nothing. <laughs> Although this hair cross is pretty cool looking. It is but it's sweet. still, uh, yeah, not cool. <laughs> not cool. So I got someone saying jingle or song to make up for the echo. Uh... I don't think Burning Shadows has a Geo dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, if, if there's a Jigglypuff, I'll do the Jigglypuff song, but I don't know if there Ooh. is. There it is. You heard it here first. Jiggly song coming at you. I'll do it if we pull a Jigglypuff. <laughs> Either one of us. By the way, guys, if you just joined live stream, make sure you smash that like button. I know there was an echo for 40 minutes, but <laughs> give me the benefit of the doubt. I promise it won't happen again. Just give me the benefit of the doubt. Double smash that like button and uh, and let me be. <laughs> oh, oh my god, this card haunts me in Burning Shadows. It's the Anna ugliest wants... card in the world. I, I swear. Oh, a pile of sand. I hate sand. Just, it gets everywhere. It's, just, it's the worst. Sand is the worst. worst. It gets everywhere. It's the worst. Uh, Anna sa uh, is asking what the Jiggly song is. You know, it's the Jigglypuff song Jiggly that uh, Jigglypuff sings. Yeah, it's the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he picks up the microphone and he's singing, or he's got that. What is it? The mic, the the marker. Yep. 
Yep. And he's got that marker that he goes around, you know, marking everybody's uh, faces. Yep. Oh, mad. All right, let's see. We got ourselves a little stuffle there, an NK dust goal. Ooh, I see something back there, guys. Ooh. I see something back there. Nick Crosma hey. GX Full Art. There we go. All right. Back in business. It only took, you know, <laughs> six packs or something like that. But <laughs> it, it took a little bit, but we finally got there for sure. Finally got there. Finally got there. That's actually a pretty cool one. I honestly don't think I have this card. I've got... Um, I've got the Necrozma GX uh, Ultra Rare. I don't. I don't have it in uh, full art. So, uh, I believe cool. I pulled the full art not long ago out of a booster box. But uh, yeah, at least you got something out of there. I got a, a, a pile of sand. <laughs> so I think I've got plenty of those piles of sand. So yeah, those those for me sit in a uh, what do you call it? In a uh, bulk pile. They don't even they don't even hit a sleep for me. But you know, <laughs> my luck, seven years down the road, it's going to be like a thousand dollar card for whatever reason. Of course, right? <laughs> uh NC Packbusters is gonna get a bunch of pile of sands, that's for sure. So hope he enjoys. I know he's in here right now. Oh, oh. nice. Oh, there you go. Galisopod, nice. nice. Galisopod, hyper rare out of burning shadows. So Sweet. I got a Necrozoma, I got a Glycopod now, so now all I'm missing is the uh, the Hyper Azard. <laughs> yeah, right? If only we could just pull the damn thing. Come on. Come on. Yes. We uh, got we're, something out we're of as, I think we're as bad as uh, Max Mofo. I don't think he's I don't think he's pulled the, the Zard yet. He's, uh, I mean, I, I know he hasn't been making videos uh, lately, but. Yeah, I haven't was, seen him. I haven't he was seen him opening. Video in, in, in quite some time. He was opening uh, at least one pack per video for a long time. There's a yeah. hollow Lucario. Nice. It's harder puff. <laughs> I feel I feel like um, you need to rename this uh, this podcast, Rob, because uh, it's it's you know cards and zards. But I don't <laughs> I don't I don't see any zards. I just see cards. Well, there was a zards. There was a zard. Oh, it was okay. pulled by uh, the Golden War Turtle, unfortunately. Oh yeah, that guy. He beat me to that one. Oh, uh, yeah. But uh <laughs> So there was a Zard. Right, right, right. By me. Uh, let's see. NC Packbuster says as long as they aren't from the trash can, okay. <laughs> uh Zarder Puff. Cards and sand. <laughs> oh man, nice. Max uh, Mofo's says, Cosmic Eclipse booster box was good. He got a Rainbow Rare Zard and a Blast Voice yeah, that's uh, wild. tag team. <clears throat> that's pretty freaking wild that he got that out of it. Actually, uh, Cosmic Eclipse was a pretty bad set for me. Um, I know a lot of people did very well with it. Uh huh. I just I did not do well. Um, I think the best packs that I actually got were from uh, ID Vixen, who had who I'd won a giveaway from and she sent me some packs and uh, she picked out like two really good packs out of three. And uh, you know, I had two good pulls, but those were the best packs I got, you know? So I, uh, I've gotten some okay pulls, like nothing, nothing really crazy, but I wasn't really that invested into cosmic eclipse. And then uh, especially at that, at that time where I was opening up Hidden Fates and stuff. I saw that the Zard, the Breaks and Charizard, was only going for $40. So it wasn't really like a uh, you know, chase card for me, per se. But now that card's sitting at you know, 200 some dollars which is just absolutely freaking bananas. Uh, so now, of course, now that the price is high, I want to pull it myself. <laughs> yeah, of course, just yeah. usually how it works for me. Uh, and I'm, I'm laughing over here because uh, Corviknight said uh, it should be called Cards and Hope of a Zard. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And Yizzy yeah. says uh, he's never pulled a Zard in his life, but that's because Yizzy doesn't open Pokemon. He just makes videos about Pokemon, but he doesn't actually open them. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Here we go. Let's see if we can get something in there. I, I don't think this... Uh, oh, there we go. We got nice. a Darkrai. Dark Ride oh, GX. Dark action there. Yeah. So, pretty cool. Got a, got a pull there. Saviper. 
So, so I'm gonna do a little, uh, little quick, little Polish rap recap on my end here to show everybody that just right. joined uh, what we have gotten so far on my end. We got a glycopod from Burning Shadow, which is pretty nice. Uh, I think last time I checked, it was like a twelve, thirteen dollar card, so nothing like out of this world. But it's also where they got the shiny artwork from for Hidden Fate, so that's pretty cool. Right. A uh, little Eldegross action there, so it's a very playable card. And Stone Journer. Nice. So I yeah, think so uh, I have, you uh, got the better of the pulls so far. Yeah, not bad. I mean, I've got uh, got the Dark Rai, the Lucario, Necrozma out of that box. And then uh, I got the Gold Ooh, Galarian that is Surfer nice card. there. That is a really cool looking card. That's my first uh, gold card from the new uh, Sword and Shield stuff. Nice. So, uh, Boss's Order, Clefable, and uh, Pincherine. Pincherine? I don't even know how to say that. Uh, I think it's Pinkerchin. Pinkerchin? Yeah. Pinkerchin. I can't believe that, yeah, that I just sense. actually uh, let you know what, what what the name of a Pokemon was, because typically I'm the one that butchers names. <laughs> you got me. You got me on that one. You got me on that one, for sure. Yeah. Uh, there's oh. definitely sometimes that I uh, can't figure out the names. That's you know it happens. So uh, English so, is not easy. I'll tell you. <laughs> no, at all, at all. Um, I'm a I'm a big time butcher of names when it comes to Pokemon. That is for sure. So we decided uh, because I happened to become pretty lucky and found something that we we're gonna surprise everyone with some hidden fates. There, uh, I found three boxes. Out of nowhere, luckily, at Walmart. And Zen said he wanted to go ahead and open one up himself, a tin. So we're going to try to go some Zard action here and see if we can get everything. Or get anything uh, Zard related, which would be sweet. Yeah. Sure. I hope I hope I can pull this damn thing out of this <laughs> tin because I'm, I'm pretty much at a point where I don't want to open up any more Hidden Fates. So, like, I know I keep saying this is it. I'm not opening anymore. <laughs> it keeps happening. I keep opening more of it. Yeah. But I'm getting to the point where I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think I'm going to be opening anymore. So, I uh, this. I just can't stay away from Hidden Fates. Like, my problem is, is if I have Hidden Fates in my hand, I open it. Uh, the only thing that I won't open is that Elite Trainer box behind me. But anything else legit stands no chance. Uh, collect ball collection boxes tins. If it's in my hands, it will eventually get open uh, in yeah. a uh, in a timely manner. You you definitely cannot open that ETB. Um, no. I was looking at the prices of the ETBs, and I think two hundred is like the cheapest for the ETBs. It is. Uh, it's just not worth opening at this point. Um, you know, they're just they're just going to keep going up. So they are uh, because it's just. I think we mentioned this a little bit uh, yesterday, but. It's just so limited. It was very limited. And then we also talked about how the Ultimate Ball Collection, which comes with the 15 packs, the Rayquaza statue, uh, how even more limited that was. Uh, right. They're not going to remake it. They remade tins. They remade these boxes, you know. But as far as the exclusive collections, those are never coming back. Ever, right. ever. Exactly. Even the Great Ball and the Ultra Ball, those are never coming back. So if they're sitting at $200 now for an ETB, it's not, even in the market that we're in, it's not going to drop. They're not going to hit some warehouse in Alabama somewhere and find 7,000 of these things. Like, what Pokemon right. distributed is what they distributed. What they did with the Ultimate Collection is what they had and what they distributed. So, what you see is what you get. So, uh, there's plenty of videos out there of people that had opened ETBs, the Ultimate Collection. So, there's not much out there, uh, which is why it's so expensive. And it's going to stay at that price. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Like, and and the the thing about it is like with the with like uh, we were talking about the premium collection right with the Rayquaza statue, um, not only do you have it was limited. We talked about it yesterday. It, it mm -hmm. was a limited uh, uh, product, right? Uh, but on top of that, you had a lot of them that were broken upon shipping. So um, a lot of stores were even selling it broken and yeah. shipping it or whatever the case is. And so there was a lot of people that wanted to return them. And uh, Pokemon pretty much said, well, we don't have any more. So we yeah. can send you something of equal value, equal but you're value. not getting another, exactly. you know, statue box. And so I think the fact that a lot of people did open them up, they were already limited. And then you had all those people that had the broken statues and maybe returned some of the stuff. 
yeah, that that set is going to be, I think, the most expensive one um, along with that ETB because the ETBs, they're just not going to make any more of them. No. They really aren't. So At all. At all. So yeah. uh, that's why I just don't want to open that ETB. Like I said, I'd have to hit you know, 10,000 subscribers in three days and be like, you know what? Yeah, let's. I'm amped. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. Let's slap this ETB wide freaking open and just do some freaking special. But I'm a realist, and that's just not going to happen uh, anytime soon, <laughs> for sure. So, <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe, maybe one of your podcasts will uh, will go viral or something like that. You know? <laughs> yeah. Do do, uh, do something one, stupid. How, it'll be this one, and it's going to say <laughs> how not to have audio issues for the first forty minutes of your Pokecast, and yeah, it's exactly. going to go just blow up. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, uh, so actually, if, who knows? Yizzy might may uh, be able to you know make a video out of this you know some yeah. sort of reaction thing or something and say uh, you know this is how you don't do it you for know, sure your, yeah he just needs video. to go back he just needs to go yeah. ahead and cut some clips out of this Pokecast <laughs> download it down cut some clips and then uh, basically explain how not to do this how not to do that yeah and, yeah. <laughs> and I think it'll be great content for him for sure yeah he can use absolutely that at my at my expense. <clears throat> So if you got yours open, dude, you are more than welcome to go ahead and slap a pack wide open. I just saw right, Nashabam cool. open this up, uh, open a bunch of these boxes on Instagram, and he had some absolutely just freaking amazing, amazing pulls. So I'm hoping that my box that I just op or have right now uh, does the same. So I just wanted to take a look real quick at the uh, at the chat here. Um, I saw a question on there, and I wanted to answer it. Hi one eight seven had asked, uh, how much have you guys spent on hidden fates at this point? <clears throat> um, oof, that's a tough one. I haven't calculated it, but I have bought at least eight uh, ball collections. I've bought the premium collection, which was a hundred dollars. I've bought an ETB. Um, I've bought probably about a thousand dollars worth in tins. <laughs> <laughs> just Jeez. because I've bought, well, I've bought a, a, you know, a couple of cases of tins. So, um, but a lot of it is, is, uh, sealed. So yeah, I've spent a lot of money on hidden fates. I haven't uh, opened me it. Too. So, you know, that's, that's the thing. Me too. Uh, I've definitely spent my fair share of, uh, of stuff on, uh, on hidden fates. That is, you know, this is how how the cookie crumbles. <laughs> so, yeah. what's going on, Trainer Leo? How you doing? Trainer Leo in the chat, just uh, popping in. What is going on? I haven't I haven't kept up with the chat. All right. I know. And I, I apologize. I haven't been looking at the chat. I'm trying to catch up here. Uh, Yizzy's talking about Alabama for some reason. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> I think I. Th I think because I mentioned uh, those hidden fates being in Alabama. Got it. And then. Uh, and then he's from Alabama, and then somebody put Roll Tide in the chat. So yep. I think it just kind of just spiraled down into <laughs> into that conversation. Yeah. So um, Coleccionista MX342. Uh, I'm, be very careful with Amazon. Um, Amazon has a history of uh, products being opened and repackaged. Uh, I've actually had ETBs that I've bought from Amazon that I've had to um, send back. They've just been complete garbage. Um, I've bought a couple different boxes of different things that have been repackaged on Amazon. And uh, so you have to be very careful on there. Um, I try to stay away from Amazon at this point for any of my Pokemon stuff. Uh, I haven't had any issues with Amazon yet with Yu-Gi-Oh, but uh, who knows? Um, and then the only place I do, I do use Amazon Japan for my Japanese boxes. Uh, the Japanese don't seem to do the same stuff that we do, that they do here in the United <laughs> States, which is open up your products and reseal them. Um, same as the Koreans, you know, they don't seem to do that. So, but be careful with Amazon since you're not getting any pulls, I would say stop buying from there and find your stuff somewhere else. Uh, just because you're not, you know, you're not going to get any pulls. Um, the stuff is mostly repackaged. So, uh, now I had I did get the a same on, by the way. thought process uh, as you did with Amazon, but I happened to speak to uh, 
a new Poketuber that's actually in my area. His name, he goes by the name of Unknown Energy. Uh, and I met him at my local card shop. He was in there. We were just started talking about Hidden Fates. And he actually ended up purchasing some tins from Amazon. And I was telling him my story of how weary I am. I feel like it's repackaged stuff. It's not legitimate on Amazon sometimes. And I always see these horror stories of people commenting. And just t talking about how their pulls were not great. Or uh, it got resealed. And you know all, all this kind of stuff. So I was like, I'm not opening anything from, from Amazon. Uh, because I'm afraid, or buying, I don't, I don't want to go through that whole process. Well, he ended up buying uh, a few tins. He bought three tins from Amazon. And one of those tins contained the ever so elusive shiny Charizard. So, I guess he just bought it from a, a great a great seller, or a legitimate seller, because he ended up pulling the card that I've been so after. And, uh, right. Out of just three tins that were shipped to him from Amazon, so... Right, right. Uh, I just saw Pogo Dad say that the Echo is back. Um, I don't know what the deal is with that. Okay. The Echo. I think it should be good on my end now. I believe so. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I haven't done anything except for switch my camera. But I don't have uh, sound on OBS going. So. It might have been coming uh, from my end, if anything. I just turned down my, my volume. Okay. But yeah, if it, if it continues to persist, guys, definitely uh, let us know if it's terrible. It's very faint now. Yeah, so it must be from my speaker that I have back there. Okay. I know I know I've heard it like when I replay some of the Pokecast to kind of see like what I need to tune in and stuff. I've noticed that there is like a very faint echo sometimes. Uh, just because I don't have a headset on, I still need to, need to hear. Yeah. Uh, so it's it, the speaker hangs out in the back. So I try to adjust the volume to where I can just barely hear it and then my mic won't pick it up. So, hopefully it's better now. It's it's pretty much to a low point right now. And oh, there's a Jigglypuff. Oh, there's a Jigglypuff. <laughs> nice. And a Voltorb shiny, which is you know not bad. All right, so I probably I, have four of these already, but we'll I kind of shiny. I kind of promised everybody that I would do the Jigglypuff song. So That's I don't know true. If, I, don't know if I you thought want we were to gonna do up. the Jigglypuff song though. If you were gonna go ahead and pull the card yourself though. Uh, I said if either one of us pulls it, so I, I have to oh. keep, I have to keep my my promise. I don't know if you want to put that up on the screen. But we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of singing here. Yeah, dude, you're gonna you got front and center attention. Right oh now. yeah, you want to slap that I, Jigglypuff song there for everybody? Oh yeah, I absolutely. Uh, I got this. <laughs> Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. There you go. And there, there it is. is. There's a Jigglypuff song. Uh, I need to see a bunch of hand clapping emojis right now <laughs> in the chat. Definitely. Uh, not there. only not only the hand clapping, but make sure you hit that thumbs up. And there it uh, is. we got to get some more thumbs up for the video. So there it is. Yeah. Toxical Gaming with the uh, first hand clap. So appreciate you there, Toxical All Gaming. All right. Nice. Thanks, giving the love and support out there. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we finally got the echo fixed. There you go. Uh, for the most part. And remember when I was saying that your volume was cutting in and out? Well, I guess my PC had switched over to Bluetooth on my uh, speaker. Yeah. So I was having trouble with that, so I hardwired it in, but it was going Bluetooth again, which is why you were cutting in and out for me. And I fixed that on a whim as well. So we are making some great strides on this one to try to go ahead and perfect it with being an hour and one minute in. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, so we got some <laughs> we got some clapping by Tox Croak and Anna. Um, and then we've got Sudan booed us. Uh, he says that we, <laughs> we need a duet. So I think uh, he, they want you to sing. And... Uh, uh, I don't. I don't think I have a pitch for a Jigglypuff. It's gonna. It's gonna sound like a golem. Oh man. Uh, Reed. <laughs> Reed says he dozed off. So did High One Eight Seven. Uh, got some more claps in there. There uh, it is. Jake says uh, one of us just gained a subscriber. I'm hoping uh, you know both of us did. Or I don't know if Jake has already subscribed to you. Um, uh, he is. He is. Cool, he has cool. already subscribed to me. Cool. Cool. But uh, you just gained a subscriber, which all is right. what you know what this is all about. It's about. Uh, having fun with a Poketuber. It's about opening some packs. It's about discussing current or late or new, you know, upcoming Pokemon topics and, you know, sharing everybody out there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, so. They're, they're asking for a duet, man. They're asking for a duet. I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know. I think, I think, I think I'll do the, the, G, uh, the Geodude jingle. I think I'll do the Geodude jingle. I'll, let's see what the people want. Let's see what the people want. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me go ahead and open up a pack here while we're uh, 
waiting for you to. Uh... <laughs> you sir just gained a subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> Do a duet from Greece. Oh God. <laughs> My on. Uh, there we go. Clefairy there. Ekans. Froki got her. Hey, there we go. We got some shiny, shiny action there. Little I'll baby put shiny that one up full screen. That's a little shiny hit right there. Little baby shiny there. Oh, and a Jesse James finally. Hey. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Wait have, a second. You didn't have that card. I did not have this card, man. I've been wow. Like this is one of my favorite cards in this set. Like I, I know I, I want the shiny Zard, but I've yeah. wanted this card, and uh, I was getting to the point where I was just gonna buy it because I keep getting the hollow version of it, and. Um, I really wanted this card. Like, it just looks so good. It does. It does it look looks good. So good. So that's definitely. I uh, yeah. I think I got sixteen of them. I definitely could have sent you one. Oh really? <laughs> but I know you're pretty pretty uh, uh, hard set on pulling that card. I know you mentioned it a few times. Yeah, I mean it's and the funny thing is that everybody seems to pull it, and yeah. I'm just like, what, what's going on? Why? How have I not pulled this card yet? There's a graveler. That's not uh, that's not what you need for your song, but <clears throat> no, I think there's. I mean, there's almost absolutely no way that I'm not. I mean, the reason that Geodude Jingle came forth was because in my comments when I had first started the channel, it almost seemed I was opening up so much into fates, and every single pack seemed to have a Geodude in it. Mm. So people were just saying Geodude, you know, like that. He's following you everywhere. So I was like, ah, you know. And then one day I did a video. And out of nowhere, I just kind of spit it out. And then ever since then, it's been the ever so, you know, popular Chewadu jingle out there. So <laughs> Right, right, right. Yeah, upside I didn't... Upside down Pokemon. This is the second car that's upside down as far as reverse rare. Yeah, it's crazy. And then it flips back over to easy. <laughs> By the way, I think I mentioned with this golden, but like, I wish this card was full art. Uh, with all the, oh. the Voltorbs hanging out and uh, the that, muck in the background. That would be freaking amazing. Or the amazing. Grimer, I should say. It would be a yeah. pretty sweet like character card or just a full art card in general. Unfortunately, it's just a hollow. And I have 70 yeah. of them. But I think it would be definitely good in some full art action. Oh, absolutely. That card would be uh, amazing. Have you seen the new starter decks? The, uh, the V starter decks? I have not, no. Oh, man. I was, I was actually looking to buy them today. Um, and Amazon Japan, for whatever reason, the only vendor that has them does not ship to my address. Mm. Thanks. Uh, so I went online and I started looking at a bunch of other places and that I usually buy stuff from. Um, and one of them, they, they wanted like $25 for shipping. And mm. I was just like, uh, that's tough for starter decks, but they look so good. Is it those starter decks? Is it the amazing. one with the, like, uh, it has almost like a rainbow blast. Out of it? No, no. The, the Rainbow Blast is actually the I think the new set that's coming out, Legendary Heartbeat. I think it is. Mm. Uh, that's just a that's going to be a regular set. Okay. Um, but uh, no, the starter V they're V cards. You know, they're just like your uh, <clears throat> the you know the V maxes or whatever, and um, they just they come in a starter box. You know, I'll have so. to definitely definitely look into it. But they've got oh Mewtwo GX. Nice, Sweet. dude. That is awesome, and it is off center, like uh, most of my cards. So, uh, <laughs> still not a bad card. Though. I mean, that card's going like sixty dollars raw, I think, right now, if not a little bit more yeah. with the market increase. But still, a sweet looking so, card. So I have I have two of these now. They're both off center. So, yeah, I was actually planning on sending uh, the you know one of them to PSA or the first one to PSA, uh -huh. and then I looked at it, I was like, eh, I don't know, it's gonna grade pretty low with that off center i mean not low but just probably a nine know. i'd say a nine yeah i the, the, my thing with the psa is that the last time i sent stuff um they came back with stuff that was off center as an eight really and it just it was really discouraging because you know off center usually you'll get a nine if it's just yeah. off center or they'll put oc on it um and it the OC kind of is like, okay, it's a, it's a nine because it's off center, right? But they didn't do that with any of mine. They didn't put OC on any of them. Um, they just made them an eight. Mm. And uh, so that kind of sucked. I just uh, was a little bit discouraged by that. Yeah. So now I'm, I'm very careful what I'm actually going to be sending to PSA. 
um, I need to make sure that uh, that it's perfect so I can get a PSA 10. Uh, just I don't really want to spend the money to send something that I know is not going to get that 10. You know? Yeah. Um, for sure. So I got I got to yeah. do the same thing. I got to go through my whole collection as far as like shinies and uh, see which ones are going to get that 10. Um, and then the ones that I'm like are like just on the borderline of that 10 or just, you know, I might take that risk and send it in and it'll probably get a nine, but still worth a shot, especially with the rise and in, in prices right now and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm looking at the chat here. At, uh, Coleccionista, Coleccionista says, um, he's pulled uh, 20 Jesse and James and 20 Giovanni. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I've gotten quite a few as well. Uh, I could definitely attest to that. Sure. Yeah, Giovanni is another one. I think I've only pulled one Giovanni, and uh, that seems to be a pretty common one. I, I can't pull it. Hmm. I don't know, but uh, but birds, I get the darn, you know, birds all the time. Those are uh, those are crazy. Got some hand claps for uh, the Mewtwo, which is nice. That is a that is a very 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 amazing pull. Yeah, definitely. So. Uh, let's see. How much is it to have a card graded? Toxicroak's asking. So there's different prices. Um, you know, it depends on, you know, where you're going through. Um, I I use a uh, place called. Uh, oof. Okay, now I can't remember. It's it slipped my mind. <laughs> but uh, I, it'll eventually come back to me. But it, I think it was something like eleven or ten dollars per card if you depending on how many how many you send yeah so the more you send the cheaper it is per card correct obviously it's more expensive because you're sending more cards but um i know that uh nc packbuster who's who was in the chat earlier uh him and adam uh or golden war turtle they're they were sending stuff to psa so i don't know if they're still doing that they do they are hit- yep they still do yeah. a psa service so uh if any of you guys um want to definitely if you're not already subscribed to their channel and uh check out their discord they usually have links in the um in the description of their videos and they do a uh a grading service and i believe for every 10 cards you send into them that they will send out to get graded they'll give you the 11th free as well and their prices are very very reasonable if not some of the better prices out there for grading services and what they do is they'll get all your cards uh, and I believe they send them out weekly as well, weekly or every two weeks. And yeah. they send it out in bulk and they get a good price on it to help you guys get better prices as well. So the more you can send out to them, the better the prices will be. And like I said, they do give you that last, that 11 card for free, which is very nice. And a lot of people, if not anybody does that. Uh, so I right. definitely would recommend that for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely uh, check them out. You know, they're small uh, channels as well. So definitely uh, pretty cool to support them. Uh, Hi187 uh, mentioned Ludkins. Uh, thank you very much for reminding me. Yeah, Ludkins is the company that I used when I sent my stuff in. Mm. Um, they have pretty competitive prices. Uh, and on top of that, they also screen your cards. So what that means is they'll go through your cards and they'll tell you what they think the card will grade. Ah, they'll tell you everything that's wrong with the card that they spot. Um, and then they send you a, an email with that information so that you can make a decision on whether you want to send a specific card to PSA or not. And if you decide you don't want to send a card, um, you can. They'll hold on to the card. I think they charge you like 250 to hold the card until the PSA returns to them. Mm. Um, so like, you know, if you send something and they basically says it's going to get a five, you really, you know, at that point you're thinking, okay, well, I don't really want to send that. Yeah. I'd rather pay the 250, let them hold on to it, and when the PSA stuff comes back, they put the card in there and they send you everything uh, together. So that's what I did. I actually just had them hold one of my cards because it was a lot lower than I expected it to mm-hmm. be, and it wasn't a card that I really cared that much to grade. Yeah. Um. So that is that's the nice thing about uh, about them, and they're they're the ones that I've used before. But like I said. You know, NC Packbuster and uh, and Golden War Turtle, smaller channels. You know, it's uh, always great to give them um, the the leg up on on this kind of stuff. You know, and For get sure. them going with their business. So no doubt, no <laughs> doubt. And they're uh, they're up and and coming and definitely up and growing. They're they're making some big moves. And 
you know, the Pokemon uh, grading services and selling and buying and stuff. So they're doing really, really good. And I definitely recommend anybody to go ahead and definitely check them out. Um, so I got these that I wanted to open. I'll go ahead and switch on over. Uh, it's uh, Burning Shadow. It's three packs plus a bonus. So the bonus will be that Detective Pikachu pack. Uh, but I got two of these and I wanted to go ahead and open it basically because the Burning Shadow's there. And on top of that, I do love me some Fairfield Company. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and open these. So what I'm going to do for this stream is uh, I'll do two good giveaways based off the, the questions. Uh, I'm, I'm going to ask a question in the what happened in the live stream. And then whoever answers it first uh, will win something. And then uh, I'll do the same thing for the other one. And I'll include uh, one of them will get a Onyx and the other one will get a Bolton as well. Uh, so definitely I'll be sending these Detective Pikachu packs out. So if anybody's interested, definitely stick around till the end of the stream. And we'll go ahead and send those out to you and ask the question. So good, good stuff. I definitely like to uh, send or give a small little giveaway like at every stream, I think. Uh, it's a fun thing to do at the end of, and it seems like people definitely look forward to it as well Yeah, definitely and I've got a couple of burning shadows packs uh, that nice. I can open up as well. So um, I saw uh, SG Small openings SG is in the house. He is. I just saw him uh, pop small as well and um, Epic 2 HD is back. I hadn't seen him chatting for a bit uh, Somebody asked me a question. I think it was Yizzy Zen. What do you think about the Yu-Gi-Oh hype? Um, I think a lot of people are hyped up about Yu-Gi-Oh! because some of the sets that have come out recently, um, they're big money. I mean, there's some cards in there that are worth quite a bit. Uh, but on top of that, I really think that Pokemon uh, collectors are getting to a point where they can't afford a lot of the Pokemon stuff. And Yu-Gi-Oh! might be a little bit cheaper. Um, they might be able to still get some of the vintage stuff for Yu-Gi-Oh! at a cheaper price. And so a lot of people are, are buying the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Um, and then, you know, you've got some of the big Poketubers that uh, have come out on, like, Instagram and whatever and, you know, showing off the Yu-Gi-Oh boxes and, I'm you know, going to get into Yu-Gi-Oh. So yep. a lot of people just kind of start migrating over. Well, um, I, I think they get a yeah. bu bunch of, like, FOMO, you know, if you're missing out. And they want to get yeah. onto it before uh, the prices skyrocket like Pokemon did in you know a matter of months. Yeah, and and the same thing's happening with Yu Gi Oh, guys. So it's not it's not just Pokemon. Pokemon is not the only one that's skyrocketing. Yu Gi Oh skyrocketing. Magic is skyrocketing. Um, just about everything is. Yeah. And um, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I watch a lot of Alpha Investments, and I, and I do agree with him. I think there's something weird going on in the market. Um, not sure what it is. Um, I personally think it's artificial inflation where you've got um, a lot of sellers that are, you know, hyping up the stuff and raising the prices to a yep. point where it's just inflating that price. Mm -hmm. But it's going to get to a point where people aren't going to be able to afford it. And uh, when it gets to that point, something's got to give. And I think the prices are going to eventually go down. Uh, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong, but uh, I'm sticking with, with, with that. And uh, I think the same thing's happening with Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I saw a post just recently that a box of um, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon sold on eBay for like $12,000. Wow. You know, and um, so, again, same thing. The prices are just skyrocketing. Yep. So. Uh, and I also think it's going to get to a point where they're going to walk into like a, uh, like a warehouse and there's going to be so much XY era stuff, it's just going to freaking flood the market. And then XY is going to go back down to a price where it was like fifty, sixty dollars a box. Right, um, and that's that's what Alpha Investments was actually talking about. He's, I mean, I don't know if you've seen the video. But I have, yeah, he's I've got seen some videos. Yeah, he's literally got a bathroom that he uses for his Pokemon XY storage, <laughs> and um, he just bought. He bought a bunch of XY and he was going to sell it like he sells, you know, his magic stuff. And it just didn't work out because nobody wanted it when XY was out. There's so much of that product out there. Nobody yeah. wanted it. And um, and now magically everybody wants it. And magically it's not, you know, there's there's not that much of it. So exactly. where did it go? That's pretty much what he talks about in that video. I agree with him 100%. Where did it go? Yeah, where it's got to it go? be out there. Exactly. So somebody's hoarding that stuff, and eventually it's going to come back to the market. Eventually it's going to drop the prices. So. Exactly. 
I agree as well. Uh, somebody is hoarding it somewhere. Uh, yeah. Or somebody, <laughs> somebody really wanted to sell a bunch of product they got into. So they hit a bunch of product and said that there's not much of it. Uh, so they can make some kind of margin back on their investment. And then they're going to come back with the other stuff and sell it at under cost potentially. But yeah. who knows? Uh, <clears throat> we'll see. But it's definitely interesting as to why stuff like, you know, recent stuff, like recent XY, it's not that old. Uh, Sun and Moon era stuff right now, too. Uh, Unbroken Bonds, $200 a booster box. Uh, t- team Up, $250 a booster box. Like, why? Uh, there was a ton of it. Uh, my card store couldn't get rid of Team Up. And then all of a sudden they said it's out of print, uh, quote unquote, and now everybody is ripping it off the shelves. Uh, I believe they also said, uh, pro- was it Primal Clash at one point? In the X O Y area, uh, X Y era was going to be out of print, and then they went back on it and then printed a bunch more, which is why the the booster boxes became uh, not valuable and went down to fifty dollars a booster box. They couldn't get rid of it, so you know it's it's all a game of basically right now just cat and mouse, and mm-hmm. who you know is going to get the upper hand and whether they can sell the product or not. Uh, so we'll see. It's definitely interesting. By the way, I wanted to go ahead and show you the packs that came out of that Fairfield because remember I debated on what some of the packs were going to be, uh, and I finally got it open. We knew the tech that yeah. was Pikachu, and we knew about the Burning Shadows, but so we got the Burning Shadows. The other one will be Guardians Rising and Evolutions. So that's oh, pretty nice. sweet. I'll take all of those out of that, especially for the I got Burning a couple Shadows. of uh, this I one got a couple did of end up being packs. Steam crap per se. Oh gosh, but yeah. Burning Shadows and then a Shining Legends. So maybe we'll get some Rayquaza action. That'd be cool. That card, by the way, Rayquaza is upward of hundred dollars right now at a PSA ten for a Rayquaza holographic shiny. Wow, is that nice. so that's what it's selling on eBay right now consistently? That's consistently. crazy. There's that's Shining Legends. You can buy it at the store for fifteen dollars for a pink collection with four packs. Yeah. and yeah. the Rayquaza sell for over a hundred dollars. Yeah. No, it's nuts. I actually just saw at Target they had uh, three boxes for fifteen, you know, like fifteen dollars each. Yeah. And I really considered buying it because I do like Shining Legends a lot. But um, yeah, I I was like, nah, I think I bought enough already. I'm gonna leave them. I'm gonna leave them. I agree. I definitely agree. Uh, Corbin, I said I like Steam Siege, but only because I don't have much of it. (laughs) I'll tell you what, guys. Whenever I pull from Steam Siege as the rare. Y'all can have it with the giveaway. Uh, I'll add it to one of the things. Whatever the rare is, I don't even care if it's the best card in the set. I'll go ahead and give it away. That's how much I care for Steam Siege. But, yeah. Uh, I'm going to save the Burning Shadows for the for the, for the end. Uh, and I'm going to start off with the Steam Siege. Nice. So here you go, guys. Whatever this card is, I'm going to add it to the giveaway. Because I just honestly don't care for this set at all. Uh, at all. They actually had like uh, one of those almost Dollar Tree. Look, there's a staple. Oh my god, they stapled the card. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Steam Siege pack was stapled. Why was it stapled? Uh, MJ Holdings. Uh, that was. Did they staple the um, the blister shot no. or something? No, no, it was huh. glued shut. So oh, you okay. know they work off a third like stuff that comes back damaged or fell out of something, but the fact that it was stapled is yeah. mind blowing right now. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to Steam Siege, guys. Yeah, there you go. It was it was it's already a worth break like card. <laughs> yeah, it was it was already worth just ten cents, but now it's worth two. Good job, good job, Steam Siege. Oh my yeah. god! I mean, this I I promise that whatever rare card it is. Uh, guys, whoever gets, I'm going to add this in the giveaway. And I promise you, though, it's going to come with a staple. I, I love it. I love it. I love that that's going to go out with a staple on it's it. It's going to come with cool. a staple. So uh, it's it's going to happen. The break card yeah, is so going to go with this Bolton since Onyx is a GX. So it's going to come with the staple. Yeah. Uh, so whoever uh, whoever's going to win so that I'm not going to do the card trick at all. And uh, we're just going to roll through it because Whoever's I believe that the giveaway card, is getting a really cool. So the rare card uh, was a Volcanion. Uh, I promised I was going to get that one away. So that's going to go with the Onyx. And then we have the rest of there. But yeah, guys, so whoever wins the giveaway, 
Uh, I refuse to send this card without the staple. So I think you have to do to with send it with whoever wins can do with that staple whatever they want, but it's coming with the staple. Yeah. Yeah, just make sure that if you do win, uh, just know it's coming with the staple. <laughs> don't be coming back. Don't be coming back at Rob going, dude. You sent me a card with a staple. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, come on. We're, you, we you we know it's got the staple. It's going out like that. Let's. Uh, <laughs> you get you know, what you get. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Trading card so, game collection uh, just a nice free bonus staple. <laughs> so I've got a, a, a roaring skies here. Nice. Um, I'm gonna pop that open and uh, see if I can get. Uh, stapled, um, what is it, a requasa in here? Uh, that's what it looks like, yeah. So there's a, and uh, said, I gotta put uh, it on. Dude, I remember when Steed Se Steam Siege was hype. Yeah, I mean, any new set that really is, that just comes out is hype. Uh, and right. then people find out what the quality is and then decide whether they like it or not. <laughs> Love me some staples, yum. <laughs> Oh, that's a pretty cool Altaria. Nice. Not, uh, not, not a hollow, but yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Gonna frame it and give you the staple back as a wedding gift. <laughs> you know, so I planned on doing a uh, top 10, basically, polls. Like, after 10 Pokecasts, I plan on doing, like, a top 10 polls for every 10 Pokecasts. And uh, I think that that card may make the list, the staple card. It's pretty unique. Uh yeah, <laughs> I mean, why not? It's it's almost like an error card, right? So well, it is. I mean, so the question the the question has to be: Did was that staple on the pack? Do you remember? Like, no, you wouldn't have opened it. I mean, you would have seen the staple going through the pack. But I'm thinking, like, uh, was the staple factory? Or was it MJ Holdings that accidentally I, stapled through the pack? You know, that's a good you question. Know? I might have to go back and rewatch that bit when I opened up the pack. Uh, yeah. Because it's interesting. Because on top of that, it didn't. the staple didn't make through any of the other cards. It just made it through that card. And it happened to be the break card, which is very right. interesting. Right. I'm just curious if that was uh, if that's an error card at this point. It might be. And, it, <laughs> and is that the craziest error card ever? I mean. <laughs> is it worthy of a top bad. 10? <laughs> right. That's pretty crazy. Guardians Rising. That's an interesting set. I, I I've never like. I don't think there's the, any cards in Guardians Rising that I'm like I have to have. Yeah, uh, I agree. It's it's one of those sets for me too. It's just like if I if I get it in like a collection box or whatever the case may be. Like I'm not mad at it, but I don't want to go out of my way to get it. You know. Well, it's not it's not Steam Steam Seed. <laughs> yeah, it's, exactly. Like I know, don't hate it, but yeah. I also don't love it. You know. Right. So here we go. Let's see what uh, MJ Col Holding Company has for Honchkrow, of course. Uh, S S uh, Small Opening says Sylveon's a must-have. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. At I guess. A, which is set? It... At a Guardian's Rising? That is yeah, at a I Guardian's, guess Guardian's Rising. Rising. Yeah. yeah, Hyper Rare, Sylveon. Yeah, I agree. I agree uh, with Small Openings for sure. Yeah, definitely that. that one. So a little Raichu. Uh, oh, you know what? I gotta switch. Uh, Izzy said, "Okay, I'm back. Had to take a there phone call. I don't know if you saw it or not, Izzy, but we are giving away a staple card. It's pretty interesting. <laughs> Number nine, the staple card. <laughs> That's exactly how it's going to be like in the top in the top ten. It's gonna be number nine, the staple card. <laughs> Let's see if I can pull this right there. <laughs> can I pull the Hollow Zard, which I have not pulled out of this set yet? I've opened so much. Um, no, I got a hollow energy and electrode. Hey, uh, I don't know if Epic is still here, but the electrode is supposed to be a potential in evolutions, an error card. I don't know if you were in there for the Twitter chat at that point. Uh, yeah, we so... About, I, I'm not sure what the error is. I think it's in the ability. Yeah, it's over here. Um, I think the error is the one that says like this card provides two energy and it's missing the little lightning bolt. So I don't think I got the error. Ah, on this one. okay, okay. Yeah, so that's. I mean, that's cool energy right there. I mean, yeah, it I is wouldn't say cool. that's not bad. I don't for know reverse. if it's pull, but it's. You well, know, you it's open up evolution, so I'll go ahead and match your evolutions with my own. So we were right with the other guess that the other pack was going to be evolutions. Uh, full art nine tails is beautiful, not the rainbow rare. You know, 
I, I love me some rainbow. Oh, no, it's a green call card. I just showed it off, so no one's going to be excited for this pack at all. Well, actually, no. You can still get the reverse Zard, which would be good. Out of this. So I'll definitely take a reverse Zard for sure if we can get that card. Nope, it's going to be a reverse yeah. Drowsy, ladies and gentlemen, with a B drill. Yeah. I have yet to pull the reverse or the hollow on that. Um, I've got like the mega Charizards and all that stuff, but just not the reverse and the, and mm. the hollow. I bought a bunch of reverse hollow Charizards, which I sent to PSA, and those were a complete disappointment. They came back at eight, as eights. Oh, um, man. Yeah, they, I mean, I knew they weren't going to be tens because they did have some scratches on them. Um, not scratches, but they were, you know, it did, it did have some imperfections. And um, it's hard to get that you know those reverse hollows graded as tens yeah. just because like that mirror foil just very easily gets scratched up um and since i bought them uh you know usually you just people aren't going to sell you a perfect 10 yeah. card even when they call it near mint yeah um it's hard to get that perfect 10 i agree so i definitely definitely agree um i did pull the hollows art in my one of my mail day videos and it wasn't even a pack I bought. It was a... Um, I had one from Pokebombs. He did a giveaway. One of those uh, big collection boxes that were like 50 bucks. I forgot what they're exactly called. It was the last one they did of the Sun and Moon era, I believe. And uh, yeah, he sent me an Evolutions pack as one of the packs he picked out of there. Because he's had split it up into four different prizes. And one of them was Evolutions pack. And then during the video, I opened it. And there goes the Hollow Zard. Unfortunately, it had a print line in it, so it's not going to be that $500 PSA 10, but still a sweet card either way. Right. Hey, nice. Raichu GX from Shining Legends. Nice. Not bad at all. We'll definitely, definitely a nice card. It looks good. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. So I got another Burning Shadows Look here. Look at that. Come on, Test Tube. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, uh, it seems like when it comes to Pokecast, uh, I don't make out on the polls everybody else does, but it is what it is. <laughs> uh, I bought well, these, these uh, MJ Holding Company. Or actually, this is an MJ Holding Company. This is uh, Fairfield. Oh, okay. On a whim. I'm not sure which one's better. I wonder if, like, has anybody made a video, MJ Holdings versus uh, Fairfield? I don't know, but that's a good idea for sure to do. Uh, I've There's opened both. Yancy. And MJ Holding Company has actually pretty much let me down. Even in the mystery power boxes they had, uh, I got a few good pulls out of it, but like no one vintage, which was Platinum Arceus, but I had to open 10 boxes, which is absurd. But uh, Man MJ Red, Holdings, though, he actually, he's been super lucky with those things. MJ Holdings is Walmart, right? Correct. And the, they, I've actually bought the, um, the Holiday Edition mystery mm. boxes. Uh, those were like, a little bit older and they had um a little ornament of pikachu and you know like it was it was the funniest thing i opened it i'm like what, what is this thing even uh -huh. supposed to be and it, it turned out since it's an ornament it you know it was like a christmas i mean they call it a holiday but it's like you know whatever for your christmas tree yeah, yeah. and uh it's a pikachu ornament and um those actually had really good pulls in them uh i was pretty impressed with those and i think you could still get them really i think they're yeah, and they're not, I mean, they're not crazy expensive. I think they're like $25 for the box, but you get, you know, the ornament, you get the, um, the packs that you normally get, and I think you have a chance at, like, one of the um, the vintage packs or something like that. Nice. So. Yeah, not bad. I've always had luck with Fairfield. Like, I, I'll ride and die by Fairfield, in my opinion, um, especially when they have the extreme value packs that only go for three fifty. Like, the pulls on there is amazing. So, even these collections, like, uh, me and Chelsea have bought them. I bought the. She did a live stream with me, and she ended up opening some Fairfield stuff and got both of those uh, Mega Charizards from there too, full art. So I was like, you know. So I swear by Fairfield. I love it. So we'll see if uh, I have any luck with this Burning Shadows from Fairfield. In that pack, I just so small opening says the way Zen holds the cards makes them look so tiny like Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> there it is, my champ. <laughs> So Fairfield nice. came came clutch with something, another hitter, but Champ GX. Nice. There bad. you go. Like I said, I love the Fairfield stuff, man. I always feel like I get pretty good luck with it. I wish they did more uh, 
more hidden fates like they did before, but unfortunately. Yeah, the um, I don't know. I, I've never had terrible luck. I, I've never bought the ones that you bought. Um, so like those those blisters or whatever. Yeah, I've never actually bought those, so I don't know. But uh, but I, the other stuff's not bad, like the mystery boxes and stuff. Now those mystery cubes are terrible. Which uh, ones? Those I the mystery cubes. Like oh yeah. Kind of, acrylic uh you know cube or whatever yeah yeah those are just atrocious yeah i've never i've never bought one of those i i don't, I don't trust them at all <laughs> i don't oh, trust man. those things at all well my pulls went down the drain i was getting some pulls and now i'm not uh small opening says yeah that one dislikes been there for a while uh <laughs> i don't blame him we had terrible audio issues in the beginning uh and it was all my fault so i deserve that dislike that happened like i'm not i'm not you know heartbroken over it. it is what it is things happen if you don't have the most perfect stream going on you know that's you know that's what happens so i'm not mad at it. it is what it is you live and you learn i made a mistake and you know i paid for it with a dislike so yeah Exactly. Whatever. I I, I stopped what caring is. about the dislikes, to be honest with you. I mean, they're just trolls and, you know, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. <clears throat> Either way, I'm going to have fun. You guys are hanging out, hopefully having fun time too. So we still got 20-some-odd people in here hanging out, which is nice. And hopefully this Burning Shadows right here that I'm about to open will spit out a Hyper Rare Charizard. So we shall see. Audio is fine now. <laughs> Thanks, MD Pokemon. Yeah, it... uh. It took me a little bit to figure it all out, and it just was on a whim. Like, Zen was just sitting there talking, and I was like, you know what? Let me try this. So I was multitasking at the same time, listening to our uh, conversation and trying to figure out the uh, audio situation. But we got it. We got it all figured out. Charmeleon Reverse. Ooh, I'm going to save that for a uh, signature card for sure. Nice. Araquanid. Boo. Nice. So I'm definitely going to save that one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. What else do I have going on here? I've got a Cosmic Eclipse. So. You know. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Let's see if I can pull a Blastoise and Piplup. I'm going to do something silly. I'm going to get yelled at it here in about 30 minutes. But oh. I'm going to open up one more. Are you really? I am. Are you really? Are you going to make me open no, one? No, you don't have to open one. I'm definitely going to go ahead and try to open one more and see if I get lucky for a minute. I'm going to save the other one. Uh, hopefully, I can get something good. You know, that'd be cool. So, I'm gonna I, know, have to I think Golden's now. still in here. <laughs> so, he'll he'll probably enjoy this one, watching me fail. I'm going to have to open one now. You, you got me. If you open it, I'm opening another one. All right. <laughs> I got I to gotta do it. I can't. I can't leave you hanging, man. I can't. Uh... <laughs> That's right. We'll just I've pull. Uh, we'll just pull double zards. And yeah, right. It'll 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 make it work. <laughs> Pogo said, "Do it, Zen." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's, let's put those promo cards in there. So, all right, guys. Here we go. These are. Going to be the last four packs from yours truly. Uh, once again, though, I do, do want to say a big thank you if he's still here. Hi, 187, man. You uh, really hooked it up with those uh, with those Lee Trainer boxes, man. And once again, really, really appreciate it, dude. Uh, you definitely didn't have to do that, but uh, we really appreciate your generosity for sure. That was very, very nice of you. And yeah. uh, Zenturian XYZ, man, he got some good pulls out of it. I got Eldegoss V. So my pulls weren't too great, but he uh, he got some great pulls from that one. That gold card in the boss's order. Those were some spicy cards. Yeah, I definitely appreciate it. Hi, 187. Uh, you're you're a legend. You're awesome, dude. Um, yeah. And I appreciate, you know, you supporting my channel since, like, almost the very beginning. That's crazy. I think uh, he's been supporting my channel since I had, like, 10 subscribers. Wow. So, That's awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. So definitely, uh, you know, love to see that. Love the support. Um, and just it's amazing like you know he, he i've had a lot of conversations with him um and it always comes back to like me saying dude you don't have to send me stuff like yeah. you know you don't you don't have to send me stuff and he's like man i want to support you guys i want to support pokey tubers because 
you guys are making content for the Pokemon community. You guys are, you know, giving to the Pokemon community by, by the content you're making. So, um, you know, that's, I think it's pretty cool. Um, and he's not only that, but he, um, we did a, um, a charity with NC pack buster, nice. uh, for the children of Atlanta, uh, hospitals, uh, which I think loot box TV started. Um, and high one eight seven, uh, it basically matched my contribution. So, wow, nice. I mean, he's, you know, he, yeah, he's, he's been a great supporter of the channel and he's just amazing to the Pokemon community. So, uh, everybody that's, you know, right now just hanging out, please give him a big thank you. Um, and, uh, and a round of applause because he definitely deserves it. For sure. For sure. I agree. Uh, definitely from what, like we spoke, we spoke about it yesterday as well. And, uh, you've said nothing but good things. So we definitely appreciate, uh, those you know type of people in the Pokemon community that do help out, that do contribute, um, we and, and it doesn't have to be necessarily giving stuff, you know. Uh, oh yeah. Like hanging out in the live streams or watching a video, dropping a comment, dropping a like, or you know, I'm not saying that everybody needs to do it every single day, and it, you know, like we all have lives, we understand, but you know, just being there, I, I know I try to do as much as you can. I know you do too, and I know everybody in here in the live stream definitely tries as well. Um, we got lives, we got stuff to do as well, but the little thing, it's the little things that matter and count and that keeps us really going, uh, at yeah. the end of the day. So absolutely, definitely, absolutely. This, definitely. I mean, this community keeps me, uh, keeps me making videos to be honest yeah, with you. Exactly. Uh, it's just such a great community overall. Um, and I absolutely love it. Um, I just saw a TCG Funhouse pop he in. He did, he just popped says, in. He's uh, actually going to have a, a live stream too at, uh, 9 PM, I believe. I thought I saw He's going to be streaming okay. some uh, Armored uh, Isle. Is that what it's called? Island of Armor? Uh, Isle, Isle of Armor, yeah. Isle yeah. of Armor, yeah. So I still haven't downloaded the new uh, Isle of Armor yet. Actually, Chelsea has been playing from the beginning so far, so she's kind of been hogging the uh, the Switch. But, <laughs> <laughs> but Time I to get another it, Switch. Yeah, but I think I am going to download it here eventually. Yeah. But it's TCG really good. just made it I, in for it. eight more packs of Hidden Fates. I'm going to open up four, and then Zen is going to open up four. Actually, we'll probably switch on and off and see if we can pull that shiny, shiny Charizard. So let's freaking get it. If everybody can drop a shload of fire emojis right now, I think we're going to need all the help, guys, for sure. We need, we need all of the fire emojis. All of it. Every single one of them. All of it. Because Hidden Fates is starting to run thin. <laughs> I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get. So, like, I know I said the last stream, but, like, this is legitimately it. <laughs> yeah, I was looking I was looking at the prices, and I was considering buying a case of uh, tins again. Yeah. Um, to open, not to leave sealed. But I just, at the price that, you know, they're currently at. I don't, I don't really want to spend another $420, $450 or whatever. <sighs> Uh, on a case of tins, you know. I mean, um, just to pull the shiny Zard. Like I, I yeah. think at this point, I'd rather just buy it, you know. Um, so I, I agree. But, I kicked myself in the butt because when the reprint came out, I, um, I bought a case and I bought the case for two hundred and ten dollars is what I paid for it, I believe. And I wanted to buy more, but I was like, ah, nah. I can always get some more later. Like if they're reprinting it, like I'm sure I'll be able to find it, and. There's cases out there still. They're just double the price of what I paid for originally. So, kind of kicked myself in the butt for that one. But who knows? I mean, yeah. the Chinese art didn't necessarily have to be there. Right. So, here we go. Yeah. This is my first pack out of tough. four. Wish me them shiny SV49 vibes because I freaking need them. No. <laughs> That's one pack down and another Eevee. <laughs> That's one pack. Yeah. Uh, the cheapest case of Hidden Fates I can find is 300 Pogo Dad, how long ago was that? Because <laughs> right now, whoa, uh-oh, we got a situation with the camera here. Uh -oh. uh, right now, the cheapest I found online was 450 I think it was, for a case. It's crazy. Um, and then the second lowest was 475 That's crazy. But if you found a case for 300 I would jump all over that to be honest yeah. with you there's there's geo dude oh uh, yeah i have to do my jingle <laughs> if i pull one i'll go ahead and do it uh so now, so wait, rob they said they are opening eight more packs each of him nice 
Nice. There it is, dude. Your pulls have been great today. Uh, no, so yeah. no, we're just opening four piece. So eight and uh, this this is a cool one because I don't think I have this one. How's the center rate so, look though? It looks a little bit off from left to right. Oh great! I just knocked everything over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it it does. It looks a little tiny bit off. Not as bad as the um, as the Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. But yeah, nice. that's just that's my luck, man. Anytime I get the pulls, uh, they're just off center so <laughs> it is what it is <laughs> yeah it happens i think I that's why uh, much. as far as like hidden fates go why their cards are also pretty expensive in a psa 10 because i think that for that reason it's kind of hard to get uh get for a 10 because just the the print you know what i i believe that the first print run had really good quality because if you look at the amount of psa 10 uh, Charizards there are yeah. and if you look at the amount of black label Charizards um, the quality had to have been really good in that first print run I think that the print runs after that and as as they started printing more of it uh, it's they started you know going back to like low quality stuff yeah. but uh, there's that nice Malamar yeah not bad very cool not bad at all uh, I have this is my second one I think that I have now that I haven't already I think sold but a shiny is a shiny. We'll take a shiny. So yeah, it's better than exactly. a reverse hollow golem, that's for sure. Yeah. I'll take it over. But it is a Malamar, though. And I'm not I'm not a huge fan of Malamar. <laughs> uh, specifically because of the anime. Um, I just, I found Malamar so annoying in the anime. <laughs> I don't know if you watched those episodes. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and uh, break y'all, y'all's ears right now with Malamar. <laughs> That's what he sounded like in the in the anime. Malamar. And I was like, oh, come on. You know? But uh, it was pretty bad. Yeah. There's a Mewtwo GX. Hey, there you go. So, yeah, that was quite annoying. And uh, the reason why I don't like Malamar. Uh, so. Trainer Leo said, you pulled my Froakie. No, I didn't pull a Froakie. Uh, I think Zen pulled a Froakie earlier. Or was it a Frogadier? Uh, Froakie, yeah. Yeah, I Froakie. Froakie. I think Trainer Leo's on the hunt for a uh, baby shiny Froakie. Is he? He is. You might have to. Uh, you guys might have to get a hold of each other and, and maybe figure something out for that Froakie. Yeah, Trainer Leo, hit me up. I think I may have a duplicate of that one. So uh, hit me up on uh, Instagram or uh, Twitter, whichever one you prefer. Uh, DM me. Epic said, I called dibs on the Malamar. That's cool. Just hit me up, Epic. We'll, we'll figure something out. <laughs> uh, All right, here we go. My second to last pack. No. Oh, no. It's just a sad oh. day. It's just a sad freaking day. Charm Pokemon. Hey, y'all. Sorry I'm late to the party, but hey, y'all. What is going on, Charm Pokemon? We are finishing up our last part of our Hidden Fates uh, that we just decided to open on a whim. But, uh, yeah, appreciate you hanging out, man, even if it's just for a little bit, where you, you might see some good pulls here in the last three packs we have to open. So here we go. Got a full tour. Ah, oh, man. We're getting there. Oh. We're getting there. Oh, no. Uh, MD said, Crazy looking... jealous of your Walmarts and stuff. We literally have two stores selling Pokemon products, and they have, like, three kinds of a product. That's very unfortunate. Uh, I know that you guys get in contact with NC and Golden to send you guys some stuff out there because uh, I couldn't imagine the struggle for sure. It, it's, it definitely seems, like, uh, pretty, pretty difficult to get Pokemon product out there. I know Zay Pokemon, too. He says he has a lot of trouble getting uh, product out there as well. Yeah, I've I've heard that from a lot of people overseas. It's yeah. just um, it's rough to get stuff. So, yeah. uh, Rob, you have to join someone's podcast so you can pull heat, bro. <laughs> uh, you ain't kidding, man. Uh, you know it is what it is, though. I don't mind. Yeah. It's like I said. It's uh, I don't know if you guys follow Jono Johnny or not, but uh, I sure do. And and he always says it's never a bad day when you're opening Pokemon. And I agree. It's you know it's never a bad day when you're opening Pokemon. It still makes me happy. I still have fun and. Um, among great, great company, so it's all that really matters in the end. Well, maybe maybe I'll do a, you know a podcast and uh, have you on. And maybe <laughs> you'll get the, maybe you'll get the polls. So we'll see. <laughs> Here you go. This is my last pack, guys. This is it for Hidden Fates for me. 
So if it's a reverse hollow, it's going to be a reverse hollow. Oh, of oh, course it is. Energy. <laughs> energy. It's going to be a no. water energy. And then a Zapdos holographic. Oh. Rob Mob, oh. I let you down again with the shiny Charizard, but we live to fight another day. <laughs> we live to fight oh, another this one, day. This one doesn't want to open, so maybe there's something good in it. There you go. Who knows? Let's see. There was only three of these boxes left at Walmart that I got them. Uh, so the other three must have had all the heat in them. Uh, Australian Pokemon product is expensive and hard to find a lot of different sets. Yeah, that really does suck. Oh, no. No no Zard. No Zard. But I did get a Butterfree. <laughs> so, you know, I do love Butterfree. Just... Uh, would really love a Zard. But there's a Charmeleon for nice. you. Nice. There it is. Yeah, I and, don't typically uh, have Charm Charmeleon out for the uh, the Pokecast because it's just too much. Between opening cards and then reading the chat, making sure everything is going smoothly. Uh, after that one accident, I <laughs> decided that for the Pokecast, it, it wasn't... Maybe for regular lives, like where it's just, you know, him, me opening cards and kind of reading the chat. But with everything else going on and trying to hold the conversation stuff, it's just... Too difficult, and after that accident, uh, which a lot of people in this chat and you personally have seen, uh, it was not great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I needed to go ahead and uh, figure out what I was going to do with him. So he's just hanging out. He's sleeping right now, so it is what it is. Uh, by the way, I did get a surprise letter in the mail, and it's from Training Card Game Collection, and I just saw him pop in. So I wanted to say, first and foremost, thank you, dude. Um, I want to open it now. Uh, I, I've been holding off it, all yeah. day because I knew we were going to do the Pokecast and legitimately Chelsea went into the mail and she's like, hey, this is for you. And I said, what? I'm not really expecting anything. Uh, so I want to say thank you for sending this to me. And for anybody out there that's not subscribed to you, definitely, uh, I hope they check you out. Trading Card Game Collection. Definitely check out his channel, Up and Coming Poketuber. And uh, I'm loving all the stickers you put on there and stuff, too. Like, it's very, very creative. So, uh, once again, I want to say thank you. And I'm definitely going to open it up for everybody to see. So, here we go. Nice. And oh, then... Man, it's, it's, always, it's always cool to get uh, cool mail, you know? It is. It is definitely open cool. Up. Uh, especially unexpected. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't expect it. Yeah. Got a sweet thank you card. So I'm going to go ahead and save that one. And let's see what we get. Oh, he, uh, he said those are vintage stickers. So make sure you uh, Ooh. you don't kill those uh, those stickers. Now we're good. Don't rip the head I, off of uh, Yeah, I saw chart. this one. And I see I started ripping down. And I was like, ooh, let me rip around it. <laughs> so I'm going to try to peel these off and put them on a piece of paper. Nice. Many thanks are due to you. Thanks so much for all you do. Dude, I appreciate it, man. Like I said, this was... Uh, very, very unexpected, so I really appreciate it. And he was nice enough to send uh, a Rebel Clash Pack back. So thanks, Rob, the TCG, uh, C Family, D Ward, M Ward. Guys, I appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and you guys are always here supporting the live streams of my channel as well. And he sent us a nice holographic Marnie. Nice. Nice. That's different. That is... That's from Final Fantasy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's what it looks with. like. Dude, freaking yeah. sweet. Is that a card or is it a... Uh... It looks like a card. Yeah, yeah let me go like ahead card, and take right? them out. Because I think there's cool. something else with it as well. There's a few cards Oh, yeah, in there's there. definitely some more stuff in there. That's cool. Oh, nice. I like that. Wow, that's dope. <laughs> that's awesome. Very cool. That's awesome. So the last name is Ward and they have a Ward card. And this is from... this is Yeah, this is Final Fantasy. That's super sweet. That is a sweet, sweet signature card, dude. Uh, yeah. Definitely going to go ahead. And you're right, Zen. It says Final Fantasy on the back trading card game. That's sweet. I really appreciate it. I didn't even know they had a trading card. No, game this is Final nice. Fantasy. So I'm going to hard sleeve this and add it to my uh, Pokétuber collection. I appreciate it, dude. That's awesome. And a nice holographic Marty. So we're going to open up this pack, too, for sure. Uh, that was awesome, man. Definitely unexpected, and I appreciate it for sure. So let's see what this Rebel Clash pack has. Hopefully something good. 
Galarian Meowth, Charbog, and Arakuda. Either way, dude, I appreciate it, man. It was uh, very unexpected and very thoughtful for you. So nice. I'm going to hard sleeve your uh, signature card. And I think it's very, very creative with the fantasy, uh, with the uh, Final Fantasy. That's pretty sweet. So. All right. I think you are just switching up all the colors over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just changing the colors now at this point. Uh, switching yeah. up. Switching up the vibes. That's pretty cool. So I, I, I wanted to do a real quick recap. I think uh, I'll go first and I'll let you finish things off with your recap. Your uh, Rob Mob recap. There it is. That's so famous. So uh, let we'll me go uh, ahead. show oh, everybody yeah, that just came show. into the chat because I know we've got uh, more people, I think, now than we did before. So um, just, you know, go ahead and do a, a quick recap here. Got some hollow action. <laughs> got a boss in order. <laughs> Porygon Z. There's that Froakie. There's the Froakie. Pincher, Pincher, Chin. I can't say. It. I'm <laughs> done. I'm done with that. <laughs> I can't Pinker believe I'm schooling you on, on the Pokemon. Name. I'm done with that's, that one. That one just gets. <laughs> that one just gets me. And then nice full art there, uh, Necrozma. And then sweet. these guys right here. I mean, this is like this is awesome because I don't have the Lucario. So uh, and then Mewtwo, you know, off center Mewtwo, and uh, Jesse and James, which I just absolutely love. And then the gold uh, Galarian Perserker. Dude, you so, killed it. You killed it on your polls. Mine are gonna awesome. very, mine are gonna look very lackluster compared to yours, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a go anyway. What's up, Dave? I just saw that Dave Third Eye Wood popped into the uh, live stream. So what's going on, dude? Hey, what's going on, Dave? How you doing? All right, here we go. We got Water Energy. We got the Malamar, which is probably more than likely going over to Epic. I'm sure he's gonna hit me up pretty soon about that. We did get a nice. Glycopod Hyper Rare, which was nice from Burning Shadows. Tough set to get anything from. Boss's Order, Appleton, Eldegoss, Stonejourner. This is where it kind of just gets sad. Voltorb, and a Raichu. Raichu's not bad. I'm down with the Raichu. And the Machamp is pretty sweet, too. I do have a couple nice. of these, but never can go wrong with the Machamp. So, all right. So, we are going to do the two giveaways that I had planned on doing at the end of the stream. So, uh, I do have uh, one question in mind, at least. And if anything, dude, if you want to come up with a question, you are more than like, uh, welcome to. And then we'll see if anybody in the chat guesses it. But my question for this first, we're going to say, actually, we'll do this one first because this is pretty interesting. You'll get Gyarados promo. Oh, let me go ahead and switch. You'll get the Gyarados promo. You'll get the staple card. So you'll get the <laughs> Hydrogen with the staple that comes with it. Nice. So very interesting. Uh, definitely a... Uh, Great card with added metal energy. I think somebody said in the chat, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, and then you'll get a Bolton and a Detective Pikachu sealed pack. So my question for you guys is, and whoever answers this first will win that pack and the staple card, is in the beginning, uh, Epic gave Zen this nickname, and I introduced him with this nickname, what is the nickname I introduced? You got to say the whole thing for what is Zenturian XYZ's new nickname? <laughs> nice. So whoever answers it first will win the staple card and Detective Pikachu back. Nice pulls, y'all. The light change. <laughs> yeah, the lighting change. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, MD Pokemon has pretty much said Disco Zen. <laughs> He's just changing up the mood back there. Yeah, it looks like uh, Corviknight uh, mentioned something there. He's he got... said he's a Korean king. That's not the right answer. Rob Slayer. <laughs> so I got Korean king. I got the Rob Slayer. Disco Zen. <laughs> <laughs> I say Disco Zen. <laughs> MD with the zinger. Come on, guys, guess away. I know we, I know we've had uh, quite a few people that were here with us in the beginning, and they're still here. Yeah, they're here, still here. So. They're definitely still here. Someone can definitely get this. Rainbow, Rainbow Zen. Zen. No, yeah. <laughs> no, I missed the start from small openings. <laughs> Dave says Korean master. Korean master. You know, Yizzy came. Yizzy says he came in ten minutes late. Disco Zen likes disco music. 
Uh, I'm not a fan of disco music, actually. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't uh, particularly like it. But uh, yeah. Um, what's the question? Chase, Chase says Korean Lord. Oh no, Dave Third Eye just got it. The Korean Master. That is the nickname that I gave Zen. Yeah. That started with Epic, the Korean Master. Due yeah. to the amount of uh, Korean cards that he opens, uh, he was, is crowned has, the Korean Master. Was Dave in here from the very beginning? He wasn't. Uh, I have no idea how he found out. <laughs> he might have wow. looked in the description, which would be a smart thing to do, because I think I put that in the description. <laughs> um, you did. You did. You did. That's what, <laughs> yeah. Wow, nice. Uh, Detective uh, Third Eye Art Wood in the house. <laughs> you know? Put on his uh, Detective Pikachu glasses and <laughs> showed up, or his hat. That was pretty good. Nice. That was pretty good. So, so right, Dave, well, this you... will go out to Dave. So you officially won the Bolton, the card that I pulled, the hyd Hydrogen Break card that comes with your truly staple. I refuse to send this card without the staple. Uh, you get the Gyarados, and you get a Detective Pikachu pack. So, dude, congratulations. This is going out to... Cali. All right. Nice. So, do you have a question of mine to give away this next prize, which will be the Raichu promo? It's going to be a Volcanian, uh, Onyx GX, and another Pikachu pack. Dave, you can't yeah, win so, this one. You already won. So, I have uh, I pulled a specific card in two variations of it, and it one of them is a Hollow, the other one's a Full Art. What card is it? Ooh. I know it's going to be a tough one. It's going to be a hard one. I may have to give a hint or something like that, but I think the people that have uh, been watching will know. But uh, it's definitely one of them is a hollow. The other one is a full art. And it was in this set. MD said Pikachu. Toxic Gaming said Mewtwo. Rest Shoot on segment <laughs> said Boss's Order. No. Uh, Boss's Order, I pulled a full art, but um, I did not pull a hollow. I think Rob pulled the hollow. Yeah, I, I pulled the hollow. Yeah. I got a Mewtwo. Reed Reed got it. I think uh, Reed uh, says Jesse and James. Yep, Jesse and James. He got it. Yeah, dude, Reed, Reed got congratulations, it. dude. Uh, I think this is another giveaway you won from me. So um, just in case, go ahead and send me your information. And uh, I forgot if you hit me up on Instagram before or uh, Twitter. But uh, hit me up, and I will send that out to you, dude. So congratulations. We got Dave Third Eye. Coming in and winning, and we have Reed winning. So nice. Well, guys, um, I really appreciate it. Uh, it was fun. It was definitely a little difficult in the beginning due to errors on my part, unfortunately. But we got it figured out here towards the end. We did get a dislike for it, but it happens. It is what it is. Well, we got two dislikes now. Oh so, uh, man, we are just killing the dislike game yeah. now. You know it is. Yeah. Hopefully, not to worry hopefully it wasn't uh, we somebody that lost cards out there. Yeah, hopefully it wasn't somebody that lost the giveaway and got mad at. <laughs> yeah. So, so, anyways, and and then Zen, dude, I appreciate you coming on, taking time out of your day to hang out with me. Um, it was fun. I'm sorry for the, uh, like I said, the uh, issues I had there in the beginning, but I'm glad we got it figured out. So all good. Was definitely all good. I, dude, it's cool. I mean, my live streams, I've had technical issues as well. It happens. It's just, just the way it is. Yeah. Um, but thank you very much. I appreciate you um, inviting me on your channel and doing this podcast. It's really cool. Uh, it's the first time I do something like this um, with this type of collaboration, which I think is really nice. Um, and I like that a lot of uh, other PokeTubers are also doing podcasts and stuff like that and collaborating this way because it's. I think it's a little bit better than the – usual pack battles where I'll do a video um, and then you do a video and we never really interact yeah. other than, you know, behind the scenes. So I think this is really cool. Um, and also thank you very much. Everybody that's watching, everybody that's hung out high one, eight, seven, um, you know, Yizzy small openings, everybody. I mean, you guys have been awesome and sure. uh, we appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Guys. Thanks. Thanks so much. It, it means a lot. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out as a turn X, Y, Z, he does amazing openings. I know you got a ton of videos coming out. You're over 800 subscribers, dude. You're only you're less than 200 away <laughs> from that thousand mark, man. And that's everything that we strive for to get in the beginning. And then uh, it's steady sailing from then on out, I feel like. So uh, congrats on the 800 subs that happened legitimately two days ago, which is awesome. So congratulations for that. 
Uh, you're a pleasure to have on the show. I definitely see you having you on sometime in the near future. Uh, you love to open packs. I love to open packs. And there's so much stuff uh, Pokemon related that we can talk about. And just, I mean, we've been on. This is probably my longest one right now. We've been on for two hours and two minutes. So, oh, wow. Yeah, we've been here for a minute. And these guys, man, like the Rob Mob, the guys that are in here that, you know, check everybody else out. And, and you are in our videos and stuff. They're the real deal. Like, you guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, I really hope you guys appreciate the giveaways of people that won and and the information and just have fun in general. I know my polls always suck. Everybody that comes on here has amazing polls, but it's the nature of the game. And I, you know, I'm just happy to be opening Pokemon cards and talking with y'all and talking with Zen and just having a really good time. So, guys, thank you so much. And Chelsea was really good in our live stream the other day about making sure that I had energy cards stacked up so I could throw them at the end because I always end these podcasts, these Pokecasts, with my intro. So, Zen, cover your ears, dude, because I know you hate loud stuff, but I'm <laughs> going to do it. It's going to happen. So, guys, thanks for showing up, and you know how I like to say goodbye. So, Rob Mob! Guys, until next time. Later. Later. See y'all. Till the next one.